<laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play the Long Dark Whiteout Challenge. My name is Weasel, and today we're going to play this fresh new challenge. This is not the Nomad Challenge that is currently going on on the channel. This is a separate video. It's only going to be in one video. I'm going to condense it down if I die or if I make it. Uh, I'm going to try to actually pull this off. I'm going to do the Whiteout Challenge. A monster blizzard is on the way. Will you be ready when it arrives? Basically, we have 30 days of time to gather the supplies. Uh, I'm going to call this, of course, Whiteout. And, yeah, we need 30 uh, days uh, to, well, gather all the supplies that will be listing in our journal. So, I think we're starting in the concert gas station. This is where, we're, where, where everything goes. And in the journal, we get the list of items we need. And again, we have 30 days. We need a rifle, rifle cartridges, matches, bandages, tinder, sticks, and all of these other good things. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to stand around too long. First, I'm going to have a quick look at my inventory. Because that's, that's a good question. What do I even have? As you can see, only clothing. Only clothing in not good shape. And that's it. Nothing else is here. Uh, it's probably going to lock, um, going to count towards my stuff, whatever is in here. Everything's empty. The whole thing is completely empty, so we're not going to find anything here. Uh, but here is it where we're going to store all of our items, because obviously we can't carry around 30 days worth of um, items. So we're just going to go out and basically loot uh, to our heart's content uh, what we have around the concert gas station. This is going to be the first step to just, you know, uh, reckon uh, to find everything that's around the area. I'm not going to leave anything behind. I'm basically just going to grab it and throw it into the gas station unless it's really completely useless. Okay, that trunk is open. Fun. Very good. Cloth. New sprints. Very good. Anything in the door? I do not see anything. And maybe something in the glove box. It's the small little things. What I'll try to do is... I also have to feed myself for those 30 days until the blizzard hits, obviously. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to find food that I can eat um, instantly. And I'll have to stockpile some of it as well. So if we can find a rifle, the problem is we need 10 cartridges, right? We need those for the 30 days. That's one of the items needed. Uh, so we can't just go ahead and hunt everything and just shoot it. We need to find other ways to gather food. Um... Obviously, we can hunt deer, carve them up, and stockpile the f their, their meat, but it's going to turn bad, so we also have to consider this. Nothing's going to last for 30 days, so if I shoot a deer today, it's not going to last until day 30, but it's going to feed me. So, what I'll try, I'll try to, I, I will have to get a rifle as soon as possible, and see that I get more than uh, 10 cartridges. Alright, can opener, can't hurt, anything that helps, wooden matches. And I will probably be starving myself quite a bit. I will probably be starving myself. Because once we're down to some percentage points, we can heal ourselves up whilst sleeping. Okay. So, drawers. Anything in here of interest? Doesn't look like it. I could use some better clothing, though. Decent insulated vest. I will take that. That's going to be helpful. Let's have a quick look. Oops. Let's have a quick look if that warms us up. It should. Decent. Wear. Yeah, helps a little bit, warms us up a bit. We'll need more for uh, cloth. Ragged cargo pants. That is a good one. Let's see. Um, they are a little bit warmer than my jeans. That means I can also harvest the jeans and repair. But yeah, water, food, water, and supplies. Uh, how much water would that be for 30 days? I don't even know. Water should be fairly easy to make. Water and wood. Those are easy things to gather, I believe. All right, Summit Soda. Do I have some specifics for wood? Yes, yeah, softwood, hardwood, 20. Okay, reclaimed wood, 30. So we're also going to have to break stuff down. We're going to have to get sticks. Uh, all, the, all the fun things. Basically, we're not going to leave anything behind. Anything we can gather is coming with us. And um, I'm probably not going to break down cabinets or anything yet. That is a thing that I can do uh, later. Um, yeah, I can break down the towel, though. That's going to be useful. As far as I know, I don't need to have that around. But yeah, repairing some of our clothing, that's definitely our uh, priority. Yeah, we can break down those tables, but we're going to need a hatchet for that. So hatchet, also one of those things that I dearly need. 
Oh great, it's already storming. So that's that's a good time. Anyway, sticks are also kind of mandatory, so I might as well pick them up while I'm out. They will respawn, so if I just pick them up close to the concert gas station, I mean, I can also break those down, but it takes a few minutes and calories, so I'm just gonna take those. I can just pick up while walking past them, since it doesn't cost us any time. It's a little too chilly for that right now. Come, come here. And if we get the sticks close to the gas station, we don't have to haul them around once we're, like, moving. Once we can check that off, we never have to get sticks again, unless we want to start a fire. Okay, that trunk is locked. I need a pry bar. But what we got here, we got some soda. It's going to be interesting to see how fast this, this bar fills up. Antibiotics, flare. Okay. I wonder how do I know that there's going to be a blizzard coming in 30 days? I wonder. Maybe it's yearly occurrence here. Who knows? So, yes. We're going to quickly check the out. The, we're quickly going to check out the other house and see what's inside here. You know, why am I staying in the gas station and not in one of these houses? I, I feel this would be a better choice just to stay in a house. So it seems more comfortable. But hey, that's just me. I think we're not going to have a problem finding reclaimed wood once we have a hatchet. Okay, we got some uh, porks and beans. But other than that, the house seems to be pretty empty. Nothing good yet. Peanut butter. Ooh, nice. Ooh, condensed milk. I mean, those are the items I'm looking especially for. The high-calorie uh, canned items. Because they take a long time to turn had? bad. So I'll try to eat those as little as possible. And eat, like, the raw rabbit meat. Well, not the raw rabbit meat, just the cooked rabbit meat. We're gonna make a fire. Alright, porks and beans, porks and beans, good. Okay, found a sweater and a pair of socks. It always makes me happy. Let's see what's waiting upstairs for us. That'll Ooh, come in warm winter coat? Yes, please. That sounds like a glorious idea. Um, where is it? There you go. Yeah, this will warm us up a little bit better. We're not going to need the decent insulated vest. We'll be repairing that basically during our first night. For now, I'm just happy to find these items. Oh, water bottle. Something in the medicine shelf. Tablets. Bandages. I wonder, we're probably not going to be able to find everything in Coastal Highway, but maybe Coastal Highway and Mystery Lake are going to be the places to be. Uh, it doesn't tell me how many liters of water I'm going to need. Or, no, it actually does. 25 liters of water. We can totally make that happen with a few fires. Um, bandages. That shouldn't be too hard to find. 10 of them. Tinder sticks. Yeah. We'll figure something out. Hope nobody needs Ooh, this decent down jacket. We're, we're striking gold when it comes to clothing here. Very good. Yeah, wool sweater. No interest, but I'll take it for the cloth. Might as well grab all the things because we're going to be stuck for it. I don't know how many friggin' days during the blizzard, so at least that gives us something to do. I don't think we're going to play the blizzard ourselves. We just have to get all the items before day 30, which is, uh, as far as I understand, considered the win. Okay, so we checked out those two houses. Makes me a happy camper. Ah, that's the gas station. I'm just gonna run over. Ah, I don't see anything in here. The trunk can be opened. Ooh, wool hat. A decent wool hat. Um, doesn't seem like there's something in there. Nope. So we're just gonna keep going and loot. Uh, the last remaining house in this vicinity. Then we'll have to decide where to go from that. Well, first we have to go back and drop items from our inventory that we're not going to need. Give me some more sticks. Oh, magic, a little house, a flare, a book, some crackers. Uh, I hate using matches considering that I have to collect them, but chances are, yeah, there you go. I'm going to find way more matches on my routes. Okay, that's a fireplace. It's nice, but we're going to grab the wood. Heavy. Well, that's not my problem. I don't have to carry it. You have to carry it, so it's too heavy for you. Maybe you should work out more. Moldy rabbit meat. Okay. We can eat that once we cook it. So, I think we should take care of eating that soon, because that rabbit meat is going to turn bad. Fairly quickly. But also, we can use, use that this. to make a, a good fire. Okay, some herbal teas. Oh, more herbal teas. I, I doubt I'm going to need that many. Seems like an odd thing to have. 500 herbal teas. Moldy peanut butter. How does peanut butter even get moldy? Ugh. I, I just imagine it would separate and the oil would eventually sit at the top 
and it would just get rancid. Moldy seems hardly possible with peanut butter, but then again, I'm not a peanut butter expert. Maybe it can get moldy, and I'm I'm just not educated enough for almonds. A flare in the sink. That's a good one. Oh, that beautiful fleece sweater. Mmm, with the deer on it. Well, I'll take it for the cloth, but other than that, I'm really happy that we found all of these clothing items. They're gonna serve us well, because we're gonna have to go places that no sane man would go to find all the goods we need, okay? Uh, no reason to break down the bed or sleep in it right now. Uh, how tired I am? I'm okay. I'm okay. Been gathering all these supplies, doing really well in that regard. And I'm not even half tired yet. Ooh, what a beautiful tone. Yeah, uh, one hour of daylight left, so I don't even know if we're gonna go out much further. There's one more house over there which I like to check out, and I think we could go through the night. I think we can do that. Once I drop all of my gear, it's uh, slowing me down because I can't run from anything right now. Okay, so now it's about time to sort our loot. Okay, I'm mostly gonna transfer items into their designated container if, well, necessary or good. Um, same goes with herbal teas. Uh, I'm gonna keep them in the cabinet here. I wish I could put, put things in shelves because, I mean, I have shelves, so why wouldn't I be able to put them in there? But, yeah, you can't have everything. Okay, so we dropped quite a bit of items, quite a few items, actually. A lot of peanut butter and all of that. And I wonder what my inventory says now. Okay, we have 3 out of 15 days of food. Very good. We have 3 out of 20 softwood hardwood. We have some bandages. We need definitely more of those. We can make those with cloth, I think. And I have a lot of that. Potable water. I'm just going to leave it on the ground after I've been drinking something. But yeah, slow, slow but steady start. Now we're going to loot another house close to this location. Okay, there's, there's a bear. Isn't there? I mean, not, not, not that I'm too worried about him. Usually I can't get away from them. But I hear him. Where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. Hello, mother bear. Let us not engage in conversation. I will go into house. Actually, first give me sticks. Because I need sticks. And then I will go... Oh, wait. We actually got two houses? Neato. We're going to be so effective at this. It's going to... It's going to be fantastic. Another can opener. I don't think I need a second one. I can... I can, without any bad feelings, leave this thing behind. What have we a second here? can opener. Silly. What have we here? Well, a second can opener. Dusty condensed milk. How do I care how dusty it is? It's just... There's dust on the can. Not a problem. I can still eat whatever is inside. You know what? I would really like a lantern. A lantern. Do we need... Kerosene lantern. Yes, it wants a lantern. Well, it doesn't say how much we need to have in the lantern. I guess we can have some extra kerosene uh, in a jerry can, but yeah, shouldn't be using it. Okay. Ooh, cup of coffee. That means I don't even have to cook one. Nice cup of, cup of coffee is going to wake me up just fine. More wood laying around. And another place was successfully looted for most of it. Who needs this? You can only really appreciate the inability of people to put their food into fridges once you need to loot it. I mean, it would be great if everything was in one spot. It's just odd to find flares and sinks and cans next to beds and in tubs and everywhere. I mean, why not in the fridge where they belong? I mean, that is where I would put my drinks. I don't know where you put your drinks. You know, wor worst case, I would say maybe a cabinet. <clears throat> like a food cabinet. Usually like to keep foods together. Ooh, stick. Hmm. And we got still this little hut. Ah, oh, isn't the moon beautiful? <clears throat> I barely get a chance to enjoy nights. Because, you know, I don't know, like these 100 wolves that are roaming around. That's actually quite a lot of wolves. Those are four. And I see a deer carcass. I do need a hatchet urgently. Really urgently need a hatchet to... Uh, harvest those meats. Anyway, uh, let's have a look. In the middle of the night, loot another place. It's the time to go. After all, we are on the clock. We are on timer. Need to get the stuff before 30 days pass. Oh, you're, you're, you're not getting less creepy the darker it is. Ooh, rifle cartridge. That's, that's the first one. This. And some beef jerky. Only nine more cartridges to go. Not a problem. I mean, in this case, was it a cartridge or is that like a... I never get that right. 
If it's like a shell, bullet, I don't know. I think a cartridge, isn't the cartridge like the whole thing? I guess in this case it's not. No, you don't. We're gonna take everything with us. Decent jeans. Hmm. Not really interested. Not really my my kind of thing. Okay, so we looted this place successfully. It's time to head back to the gas station where I think I'm gonna spend my night. And then the, I'm gonna keep going in the next morning. Oh, please don't yawn outside so all the wolves can hear you. Could you please wait just for a little bit? Yeah, I still can run, luckily. Even though I'm a little bit encumbered. Still can run, so that's worth something. Just head straight for it. Don't worry about it. If anything's coming for you, you'll know. Okay. And in we go. Okay, I seem to be a little bit tired, so what I'll do is I'm gonna sleep. <clears throat> Chances we're gonna wake up starving. That would be my best bet after 12 hours. Actually, no, not yet. Uh, two hours of darkness left, so we still have some time to pass. I wish I had something to do. I guess I can always keep dropping stuff on the floor or eat things. I think the my, my best bet at this point is going to be starting a fire and cooking my meat. That's a good idea. Let's Let's do that. Why did I even bother putting down the bedroll? I have a bed here. I am going to... Pick that thing up for uh, future endeavors. And that, it's time to drop some wood. And drop, I'm gonna say like 25 sticks because that's the exact number I need. And anything else I have is bonus. Oh, you're thirsty? Not a problem. I have water from the toilet. It's all yours. Okay, so the best thing we can do now, I think, is to shred clothing while it's still dark. To pass some time. Especially those socks. Those socks are the worst. Also, we're gonna make Tinder uh, with the newspapers. Because we're gonna need a lot of Tinder plugs. You could eat anything. Okay, how about a worn flea sweater? You... you probably not gonna like that. And here's the thing, even if we're hungry, I'm willing to take their condition hit. So what? We starve a little. That's... that's the price you gotta pay if you wanna survive. Okay, so the difference between the down jacket and the winter coat is mostly that the one is better for wind chill and the other is better for warmth. And I think I'm gonna go with the worn winter jacket because actually the down jacket is much, much lighter, but it doesn't provide such a good wind chill bonus, but a better cloth warming bonus because it's pretty, pretty shitty. I might actually drop the jacket and not shred it just in case we, we decide to wear something later or we get attacked by a wolf. So we have some uh, replacement clothing. Same with that sweater. Uh, because we can we can always lose uh, our items. Always entirely possible to lose uh, a piece of uh, clothing once it gets shredded by a wolf or so. So having that extra pair of pants around is not a bad idea. Okay, now that we harvested everything, I'm actually going to start repairing things. And again, we're not going to be too far out, so I could do that at night. But I think I'm going to repair those boots. An hour and 30 minutes. <sighs> I might as well spend the night doing that. But cooking the meat, very good idea. Let's do that. I have no accelerant. Uh, do I have wood matches? Yes, they have a higher chance of starting a fire. Oh, newsprint rolls, right. We're not gonna use a whole newsprint for that. We're gonna make a, we're gonna shred it and gonna make two tinder plucks out of that. That's way more effective and we need tinder plucks later anyway. Okay, 75% chance, 80% chance. Let's start a fire. In that world. Ah, damn it. Why didn't it work? I don't know, because we're using accelerant or so. And there's like a 20% chance it doesn't work. Let's try it again. It's a storm outside anyway, so we might as well spend some time in. Come on. You can do this. You can do this fire. Alright, we got a fire going for nine more minutes. I'm gonna add some more fuel. That'll do. And let's cook that rabbit. Mmm, rancid rabbit, my favorite. Ah, uh, six more minutes. I guess I'm gonna add a stick or so. Two sticks. Yeah. Mmm, tasty rabbit. Okay, no need to keep the fire going. Yes, it's off. Let's eat something. I think we deserve a light snack. 450 calories. Could be better. Uh, you can only you can only take eat so much rabbit. Okay. Cool, food poisoning. Cooking that didn't really help that much, did it now? <sighs> Great. Oh, it Okay, I need antibiotics, which I luckily have. Luckily have antibiotics, and then we're gonna have to rest for 10 hours. That's stupid, and I'm not going to do that. Give me some antibiotics. 
I want them. Alright, let's treat it. And then we're gonna have to rest for 10 hours. You will weaken until you treat it, it passes, or you die. So, for now, we're just gonna keep going out. Oh, great. It keeps going down. It keeps going down, the condition. Ah, 10 hours of rest. You know what? Screw it. We're going out. We're, we're taking the risk. I, I'm not gonna be... I'm not negotiating with terrorists. Or food poisoning, for that matter. Okay, so... Let's have a quick look. Oh, great. It's a storm and food poisoning. Why am I doing this again? Oh, yeah, right. Because the challenge. So, where are we going to go next? We got some huts over there that look intriguing. We got some houses over there. We got the rabbit hill or whatever it's called. There's a hut over there. Which, honestly, I'm in mostly intrigued in. We're going to head straight over the ice towards that hut. The ice should hold us. And then we'll be good. All right. Wolves there. There's some wolves there. Screw these guys. They're not going to care about me because I'm just going to be running. Now, nothing to combat that good old fo food poisoning than with a good jog across the ice on a snowstorm. How am I not tripping? I should be slipping so hard. Oh, great. There's a wolf. Okay. Um, so I do have to worry about that a little bit. So how about I just do like a big circle around you? And hope you don't turn back to find me and eat me. I figure on the way back we could hit up these two huts. And see what's in these two fishing huts. Maybe we can find a hatchet. And a bear as well. Of course there's a bear as well. It's my lucky day. Okay, I have to, I have to go slowly and collect stamina. Before I even think about running up there. There's a little bit of a hill. Maybe an entrance point on top of that hill. If we're lucky. Yeah, who would want to live on that island? I mean, you are already fairly secluded here. But then you decided, you know what? I also want to live on an island. Which makes it even harder during the summer to go anywhere. Because I have to take a boat over. If I don't have a boat, I have to swim. And swimming these distances seems silly. Okay, Let's see if we can get past the bear. Damn it, I cannot get up the hill here. Cool. We're going to have to deal with a big fat bear. Hey, big fat bear. Just please, please ignore me. Yeah, we're friends. We're all friends here. Oh, cool. There's this cave. I do not mean to intrude. I'm very sorry for the inconvenience I may have caused you. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I can't get up here. Oh, please. No. Hey there. I'm not your friend. I will eat you if I get the chance. I will straight up shoot you and harvest your meat. For my own gain. Who's else? Oh, old man's beard lichen. That's always good stuff. Give me that. Just takes a second to grab. But it's worth it because we can make uh, cool bandages with that stuff. Ah, yeah, might as well pick up the stick. Okay, the bear's not onto me. And I don't think there's going to be a wolf here. So, at least I hope so. And we made it. Hooray! Misanthropes Homestead. What a beautiful name. Give me that new sprint roll. This is so nice and bright here. Why am I why not camping out here? It's great. It's great. There's just bears all around. At least they'll they'll keep away the wolves, I guess. Maybe. I don't know what if bears care. A hey, gamey venison, raw. Still can eat it. I don't care about food poisoning. I got pills. I got pills. And I can, I can sleep it off. I'll just drink an herbal tea if we're low on health. Sleep it off and we'll be fine. I can look into that cabinet right now and I can see there's nothing in there. Why does it take you so long to look for a cabinet? I can just swing it open, see there's nothing inside, and close it. If there's things inside, yes. It takes a moment to sift through, but come on. Water purification tablets, great. I am encumbered as well. Uh... How tired am I? It says, like, if I'm not going to rest soon, I'm going to faint. Yeah, I'm not doing too hot. Not doing too hot. I guess running over the ice didn't help. Okay, so far so good. Maybe something useful, please? I really need a hatchet. I really do. Oh, flare on the couch. Nearly missed that. Gimme, 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 gimme. Good. Rag it down west. I'll take it. What have we here? Decent ski gloves. Am I even wearing gloves? I don't remember if I do or not. Um, bu 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 bu. No, I'm not wearing gloves. Guess who's wearing gloves now? It's it's this guy. Who has two thumbs and wear gloves? 
You couldn't see it a second. There you go. Decent cargo pants. Cool. That's a good replacement item. Water I don't have to cook or boil. More water I don't have to boil. Basically, this is right now one big loot fest. Just one huge loot fest. Ooh, sewing kit. Nice. Worn ski jacket. I'll take it. Okay, I'm very tired and a little... Ooh, lantern fuel. I'm a little bit, uh, yeah, tired. Can't blame myself. Yeah. Yeah, why not? That doesn't sound like a bad idea at all. Um, I'm a little bit hungry, so I guess... Do I have the... Yeah, I have the herbal tea. I think I'm gonna drink that. It's gonna help us out a bit, and then I'm going to have... Hmm. What am I going to eat? I do not want to cook... I, I don't want to cook right now, but I should eat something. I could have the condensed milk. But, ah, it's so good. So much food. All right, you know what? Since we're only gonna rest for four hours and not the full ten hours. I think we're gonna be fine. I hope we don't take too much more of a hit. If we do, I might have to prioritize more sleep. So we're at 82% thanks to that herbal tea. Probably helped out quite a bit. Look at all these flares, man. I'm very flare happy. Yes, you're hungry. I know. You're hungry. At least you're not dead. So, take that. We have to rest for six more hours. Fine. Not now, though. We're going out. <clears throat> We're leaving the house behind. How tired am I? I forgot. Yeah, right. Really tired. And the storm's still going on. Good. Um, just having a quick look on the patio here to see if there's maybe... Sometimes you can find a bullet or cartridge or whatever on here. But it doesn't seem like it. We got a wolf over here. I'll gladly ignore this. And should we... This hut or this hut? I think I'll go in this direction. Down the... Then again, I'm encumbered, so I can't really carry much more, so I might as well aim more towards the concert gas station. And check out this little hut on the way. I think this is the direction. I want to say it's the direction. It's probably in between. It's hard to tell with all of that snowstorm going on. At least it's some sort of shelter, so... Yeah, it's not happening. Ooh! A pry bar! Fantastic. Now we can finally open those lockers. Okay, anything in the cupboard? Fishing tackle! Hey! We can we can gather some food for us, if we ever feel so. We still need that hatchet, or a knife to break open the ice, which I still do not have. Making things a little bit more tricky. Actually, ooh, I can break it with a pry bar. Okay, never mind, don't do that, that's really exhausting. And I can't run anymore, cool. So, uh, problem. Big problem. Uh, that is not something I need to worry about. Why did I do this? Okay, so since we have a lot of flares... So tired. I, could just lay down right here. I know you could. I know you could. Don't worry about it. You're just tired. You're not gonna die or anything. We're going to these huts at the dock. I'm gonna sleep it off there, hopefully. Where the frick is the concert gas station? Over there, it's real hard to see. Okay, he's angry. I'm lighting a flare to keep them at bay. Oh no, this is, uh, this, these are the houses I was looting before. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I have plenty of flares. Cool, two wolves. Cool. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Why did I decide to go out during a snowstorm? And food poisoning. Just stay the frig away. Yeah, I can brandish it. That's good. Go away. Come on, you yeah. son of a that's my, my thought exactly. My thought exactly. Can I use the pry bar to get the meat from the deer? I doubt it. I doubt it. But let's see how much there is. Uh, frozen. Cannot use bare hands. Okay. I uh, will never know possibly what is inside of that deer. Meat and bones and guts. That's usually inside of deers. Okay, so as far as I know, I've also looked through this house. I'm just gonna make double sure if I haven't been here. Yeah, we looked through here. That cabinet is empty. If we wouldn't have looked for it, it wouldn't say that, even if there was nothing in there. Because you wouldn't know, you haven't looked inside of it yet. But, since we have looked, we know. Stay the frig away, I got a flare. Feels like I'm walking backwards faster than forward, so I'm gonna keep that up. Walk like back and sideways. Oh, it would also help seeing where I go. Ooh, what do we find in here? Salty crackers. It's... Well, it's my. It must be my lucky day. Food poisoning. Starving and salty crackers. I'm pretty sure they, they're great. All right, we made it back. We're not dead. Good times. Good times, everyone. And we have some light to look around. Okay, what we're gonna... We could use the flare to start a fire. Just a quick one. Just a short, quick fire. Right here. 
I thought I could use the flare. There you go. Flare. 80% chance. How is this just 80% chance for a fire? All right, I'm going to make myself some tinder plucks to start a fire. See, for all I care, a flare is a fantastic instrument to start a fire with. At least the chances should be higher with a flare than with a wooden match. All right, good. The fire is going. I'm going to add some sticks to it. One stick should fine, be fine. Actually, let's add a few. And we're not only going to cook the venison, we're also going to be drinking tea. I hope gamey venison isn't too bad. Gotta eat soon. Not to worry. But yeah, cooking herbal tea takes like five minutes, so I'm going to cook myself like three. Hopefully I can cook three. It'll be a little close. Actually, it does take longer. Never mind. Did we get it? Did we get it? Did, I, thought, I don't think we got it. It burned. Nope. Didn't work out. Anyway, we're going to drink our uh, 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 coffee, a <sighs> tea, and we're going to have some of that. Hopefully, fre oh, it's fresh. Okay, 100%, so no chance of food poisoning. And we're going to sleep. Uh, one hour of daylight left. Might as well rest as long as I can until we are fully rested. Which is probably going to be sometime during the night. Yeah, two, hour two hours left. Uh, we can now break open the lockers. Because we have a pry bar. Let's hope there's good stuff in there. Nothing in there. Bummer. But we can store some stuff, so that's nice. I'm going to put some flares in here. Also some of my matches. And other useful items, like these, uh, all of these cloth. Okay, we don't have food poisoning anymore, so I'm happy about that. I... Am I going to eat the crackers? No, I'm not. I'm not going to eat the crackers as much as I'd like to on one hand. I gotta keep that stuff. But I'm going to repair my boots, because they're in not good shape. And I don't... Oh, can't repair while in the dark. Great, I forgot about that. We still have to wait a bit until it's brighter out. That's okay. I'll drop more clothing. No reason for me to shred this right now, I think. But I've had some better cargo pens, so I don't even need to repair the ones that I have. I can just drop them. That's always good if you find something in a better condition. Worn ski jacket. I'll drop that as well. Drop that and yeah. Feels like 5 degrees, so we're not freezing. And I might as well harvest these things for tinder plugs. Because that's one of the things, one of the goals we have is to have a lot of tinder plugs. Okay, let's have a quick look. Oh, wait, this one was empty. This one has some stuff in there. I have a lot of cardboard matches, so I might as well move those over as well. And I did keep all of my... Uh, I, I did shred all of my tinder plugs. I'm going to need a few on my person, but I guess like 20 will do. Uh, and three on my person. So let's have a quick look in the journal. Looks like we got plenty of matches. Matches are a go. Tinder, 23 out of 25. We'll have that in no time. Sticks? Oh, they actually want 50 sticks. I must have seen that wrong. Potable water, lantern, hatchet. Yeah, days of food, soft wood. Yeah, we're going to have to find wood and make a lot of water. That's one of my goals. Since it's still pretty dark, I might as well eat something and rest for two more hours just so I feel a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and eat that stale chocolate bar. I deserve to treat myself. And those backed up pinnacle peaches. I know they, they, they last a long time, but I don't have anything else yet. And I need to bring up my condition of my person. Okay, we're going to be resting for three hours, slowly bringing up our uh, health, which should be like at 75, 80 once I wake up. 72. Ah, works for me. And it is daytime, which means we can now do useful things like repairing our boots. Repair those suckers. Cool, repair skill increased 71%. Very happy. That should help us to stay a little bit warmer. Oh, oh, that can is empty. Never mind then. So I never had planned to stay out longer and actually come back, but I don't know how long it is going to be or if we're going to be stuck somewhere. Oh. So I'm just going to bring the bedroll just in case. All you can think about is food. Well, the good thing is I am not hungry. So I don't see a reason to eat right now. Um, yeah, we're ravenous. We're hungry, but we're not dying. So steaks are still a big thing. We need 25 more of those. I don't I don't see myself being in a hurry to get those, though. So I'm just going to keep going, and I'm going to follow the road until we reach a little, I want to say, outpost. Or just part of this uh, map. Where there's about three, two to three houses that we can loot. 
And it's also, I think, close to Crumbling Highway, which can bring us to Desolation Point. And, you know, might as well loot that area. I'm just going to have to find a way to store some of my items. Because I have 10 kilograms of inventory space. Just not a whole lot for items. I do have my fishing tackle and my pry bar with me, so we could break open the ice if we ever decide to uh, hunt for some food. And maybe it's not even a bad idea to do that while it's so uh, foggy. Out. And again, I don't see I don't see a fishing hut from here, so I wouldn't know where I'm heading. Okay, so this is the part where straight ahead there's crumbling highway into the right. There should be a little toe full of houses. Is that a bunny? Oh yeah, snares. I should absolutely make snares. Plenty of sticks. You know what I could do? I could just break down some branches here. And just grab some. You go harvest it. Three sticks. Sticks. I don't have to carry them. I might just well store them on the ground in one of the houses. To pick up whenever I'm coming back. We'll be fine. We're gonna find some food in there and you can have it. You can eat it. Cattail stalks would be great as well. That'd be a great food source. Okay, let's find you something to eat first. Tin of sardines. Look at you. Not eating those. They are, they're great to store. Great to store. Maybe there's some uh, more sardines. Stale peanut butter. Okay, I might give you stale peanut butter. Oh, rancid rabbit. Mmm, rancid. I don't know about rancid. I'm a, I'm a big fan of cooking something, but cook to eat safely. Okay, it says I can't eat it safely if I cook it, so where do I cook with fire in this place? I don't know if there's a place in here I can cook with fire. Let's see, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna feast like a king. Hmm. On gamey or rotten meat. Now, there's always a chance, but so is life. And if if we feel sick, we can stay in this this house or in the house next door for a little bit. We got everything we need here. What is it with flares under couches? There are flares under every single couch so far. <laughs> okay, not every single one, but under a lot. I would say that's a pretty big coincidence. Maybe that's a thing that people do here. Everyone knows, oh, there's a flare under the couch if I ever need one. And I'm stuck. You know how they keep doors open in uh, really cold regions where they have bears? They just Doors are unlocked in case you get into trouble and get followed by a bear. You can just run into a house. It's not going to be closed. So maybe that's the same thing. They, they, they leave a flare there, and then you can, um, you know, use it for whatever reason. Wolves. Wolves. All right, worn insulated boots. Boots. Okay, some more lantern fuel. I just need a lantern at this point. It's great how bright it is in these rooms, though, nowadays. I remembered a time where you could barely see something during the day, but they luckily changed that. All right, take all the water. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Oh, you can carry much more. Trust me. I've tried before. It works great. It works just great. You gotta just believe in yourself. You just have to believe in yourself. Okay, so the great thing is, we got our hut right across the road here. The other one is burned down, as I suspected. It's usually two or three. In this case, we only got two. Give me those sticks. Give me. I'm still gonna have a look here and see if anything is around that burnt down. Sometimes you can always find some items or a dead guy. There is a dead guy. Good time. <gasps> he has a hatchet! Oh, you're the best dead guy ever. Thank you so much for giving me that hatchet. Now I can work on reclaimed wood or chop open that deer carcass. All the good things. Also, I took your jacket, so I, I doubt you mind. All right, inside we go. Let's see what's in the other house. Hopefully some good stuff. Crackers, sardines. Oh, I'm so excited I can break down stuff now. Just gonna gonna require a lot of food. Uh, rag fleet. Yeah, might as well take it. Why not? Screw it. Give it to me. Give me the firewood. Oh, I'm, I'm already so slow. But we have a fireplace here, meaning we can start a great fire. Oh, right. For Tinder, I'm gonna break down the newspaper instead of wasting it. We can wait another 10 minutes. No problem. Work. <sighs> Bummer. Didn't work out. Okay, let's try it again. Not to worry. Not to fret. It's it's 80%. Means there's 20% chance that we're not going to be able to start a fire. I just feel that the second attempt should be a little bit easier, considering that we already singed some of the wood and dried it up a little bit. Um, you know, 
The first time you can't start a fire, it's trickier. The second time it gets easier because you already, you know, it's already hot. It's already, you know, unless you completely ruin it. Like, I don't know, you threw sticks on. Well, that didn't work. Great. Great. That's, that's so many tinder plaques and I don't have accelerant. Uh, I know, unless you threw sticks and stones on it and in, in the hope that you would ignite it that way. Yeah, that's not going to help. But if you actually use, like, if you burn a whole book, my, it, it should help. If that fire doesn't burn, I'm going to give up and I'm going to do it later with some fish or so. It makes more sense. Or cooking some water. Ah, that's looking good. Yes, we got it burning. Okay. Add some fuel. Uh, should be enough just to cook the rabbit. 26%. I have not high hopes for this meat. I don't think this meat is going to... gonna. That's not going to work out. I don't see it. But we're going to cook ourselves. Add some, add some sticks. I could use a drink. Yeah, you'll you'll get a drink, don't worry, but we're gonna cook a lot of herbal tea now. I hope I have more than one packet with me. That'd be good. Seems like we have a little bit more. Okay, we could also cook some coffee, but I don't really see a reason to do that right now. So now that we got that covered, I will be drinking I'll be drinking some water. Don't don't eat, don't drink that. Okay, let, let us hope that the meat is not going to give us food poisoning again. It's it's still gamey. 76%. It might might be okay. Let's hope. Yes, we got lucky. No food poisoning. Hooray! Uh, it's, those are the days you rejoice that you don't get food poisoning from old meat. Mm. Surviving is fun. I'm glad I'm sitting here in my room. Not having to worry about this. Oh, fr we got cooked venison? Oh, it is my lucky day. I don't even have to prepare it. Hmm, 100% even. It's in really good condition. Oh, that's much needed break. Is the fire still going? Okay, it's ember, so starting fire might be easier. Just in case we're going to find some more raw meat, which I doubt we will. But who knows? A raw fish. Okay, okay. Wait, we can cook that, right? Um, add fuel. Cool, still burning. 10 minutes. Let's say 17 minutes. I don't know how long it takes to cook a fish. According to the game, it takes like 10 minutes, so good on us. You got a fish. Yum, yum, yum. A thousand calories as well. Oh, that's a much needed break there. Lucky me. Other than that, we're going to find some, or we're finding some food related items. So we can increase our food supply. Oh, what's that? An herbal tea. Yay. So, yeah, we're, we're going to get there eventually. That's oh, gonna be great. I'm, I'm so hyped. I'm so pumped. Ooh, tools. I'm gonna grab those tools because we can build some uh, really... We can repair some of our items, definitely. But we'll also be able to make new items with it. New thermal underwear. Wait, did I already have thermal underwear? If not, hooray for me. Decent new... Oh, well, it's in better condition, so... It's a win. Sneakers. I'll take it for the leather. And other than that, I think the toilet has not a whole lot to offer other than the drawer and the water in the uh, box canister. Let's just let's just hope for that that it's just the water from there and not the bowl. Never from the bowl. It's always from the bowl. Well, that concludes the looting of this place. That was very good. We're well fed now, so we'll probably be on our merry way. Uh, fours of daylight left. Hmm. And I'm not super tired. I can run. And that is probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to be heading back to Quonset, Quonset Gas Station. To bring all of that stuff back. Let's hope that goes without any problems. Uh, it is so much nicer without fog. We finally get to see and enjoy the beautiful scenery that is the coastal highway. It's always a shame when it's all foggy because you're missing out on such a beautiful environment. That bunny just road sideways on that hill got got all of those bucks okay quick look around to see if there's some wolves i don't see any at least they're not spawned in i got quite a view distance that is an overturned boat there's one wolf okay running isn't really doing much for me considering that i'm so slow but regardless i'm going to try to speed this up as much as possible because i probably want to use some of that daylight repair some of clo my clothing items or work on other uh, things before it gets dark and then just pass out at night. 
I still see the carcass of the deer. There's a small little pixel telling me, ah, there is a deer carcass. Cool, I'm drained. I do have flares with me, so in case we get into a tricky situation, I have the flare ready. In case a wolf comes by and decides to bite me in the butt. Never mind, they are, the wolves just spawned in. They were not there before. Oh, bummer. So it might make more sense to go onto the road and not encounter these guys so I can save up on a flare. You're not getting me alive. Stay the frig away from me. But I should really consider the route of using fishing to feed myself. Because it allows me to, well, get a fresh source of food without having to actually kill an animal. And I don't even want to get started on making arrows and the bow and just uh, wasting cartridge bullets. Cartridges or bullets or whatever they call for rifles is not a good idea. Because I'm going to need those for the 30 day challenge. And I don't know how, how many I can find in this uh, run. Oh, might as well pick up some sticks while I'm on it. I mean, I have to walk here anyway, and I don't think I'm going to be much slower at this point. Already completely encumbered. Okay, don't run yet. I see no one on the road. That's good. Hope there's no wolf waiting for me around that hill. They're all on the ice. Please let them be all on the ice. Mm, looking good. Looking good. Give me those sticks. Yes. They already respawned. That was quite fast, actually. Or I haven't collected them yet. That's also possible. Okay, we have four hours of daylight left, so it might actually not be worth... Um, it might be worth actually chopping down some uh, branches for firewood until we're, like, really pass out. Think straight. Well, you don't have to think a whole lot. You just have to chop down some wood soon. But first, let's drop everything we have because we're carrying around so many things. Yeah, so much. All right, first, all the first aid stuff. Uh, that can go over. I should definitely make myself some bandages with the cloth that I have soon. Um, and also apply old, men, uh, old beard's man licking. What is it called? Old man beard licking. So we don't need to carry around the antiseptic. Okay, if we craft, we can make ourselves some bandages. Let's do that. Let's harvest some wood, uh, some cloth. And we got some bandages. And on the workbench, oh, we need three for one of these bandages. Okay, that's good to know. Gotta keep that in mind. Okay, so now we sorted our inventory out a little bit. Let's have a quick look. Uh, we have six days worth of food. We need a few more. We're gonna need roughly nine more days of wood. Should be possible. Uh, soft wood, hot wood slowly going up. Sticks, I'll have to drop those. But yeah, we, we're, we're slowly getting there. That makes me really, really happy. And some of the items we can just craft. For example, the bandages, we can craft those by just shredding up cloth. And we have a lot of cloth because of that cloth pile I have over there. Water, we can make by cooking. Kerosene, we'll have to find. Rifle and cartridges, we'll have to find as well. Sticks, tinder, reclaim wood. That's all stuff that I can make. But most importantly, we're going to need a rifle. Okay, let's... Uh, I don't need more cloth to repair items. For now, I feel like I'm good. But we have no time to lose. We might as well keep going. Then again, it is only two hours of daylight left. I'm gonna try to catch some fish very late in the day. I'm already really tired, so I will take a hit on that. But I'll try my best. Do have a cup of coffee? Because I might as well drink that and then keep going. Let's go ahead and drink a cup of coffee. That should keep me up a little bit. How much energy does that give me? Eh, a little bit. Might be enough to break open the ice without hurting myself too much. But yeah, let's go fishing. I mean, as long as the wolves leave me alone, I'll be fine, I think. I mean, just being tired is not a big problem uh, to go fishing. So where's the closest hut? I want to say behind those giant rocks. Let's let's hope I'm right. Uh, can I just like walk between them? Oh, yeah, I can. Fantastic. Okay, that's that's what I need. Ah, which hut, which hut, which hut? This one seems fairly close. This one is on the way to these houses. Um, how much am I carrying? 16 kilograms. So, I might as well... I might as well go over to this hut, fish a little bit there, and then keep going. Uh, and check out the other houses. Okay, you, you are up. You wanna, you wanna do... You wanna fight, bro? You wanna, you wanna go? Yeah, I gotta keep my distance. This guy's otherwise gonna be all over me. Uh, since I'm so tired, I still have coffee. So we're not taking a hit on that yet. So I'm gonna use all the energy I have left to run over here. And avoid this guy. With that little bit of stamina I have left. 
Ooh, a deer. Very good. Maybe if the wolf attack deer, I can harvest deer for meat. Deer, deer. I need to eat your meat, deer, deer. Okay, now I'm exhausted. I can't run anymore, so... Well, you can walk a few more feet and just go into that hut. Which sadly does not have a door. <clears throat> a door would be great. That would be great protection against hungry, hungry caterpillars. In wolf coats. That's what they are. And uh, you can't tell me anything else. Alright, we got some sardines. Man, this is so red in here. It's like on Mars. Assuming that this is what it looks like on Mars. Ooh, another cartridge. Good. It brings it down to two. And a hook. I think I got a whole fishing tackle. Alright, uh, hatchet. Yeah, let's break the ice with that hatchet. Should be a little bit faster. Yeah, it doesn't take too long. It's gonna get dark soon, so... Am I gonna spend the night here? That seems like a holy, really bad idea. Um, sure, let's fish for two hours while it's getting darker. Feels like minus three. And I got a fish, Coho Salmon. 3.4 kilograms. Yes, please, I'll take it. All right. I'm gonna cancel the experiment now. But that was cool. I got some, uh, that was good. That was really good. Uh, I'm a bit cold. Understandable. Very understandable. So, I could cook the fish here, but I don't have anything. I don't have enough to make a fire. I have one stick. That's not enough. So, what I'll try to do is I'm going to try to save myself by going in this direction and spending the night there. Uh, again, I'm exposed to the cold. I'm exhausted. But at least we have a fish. Ah. Uh, a four kilogram fish. That's a lot of uh, calories there. Like a whole whopping 1,000 calories, which is going to feed me for a little bit. I really do enjoy the nights here. And it's going to go towards my uh, feeds. Alright, is that a stone or is that like part of a house? Ah, it's a stone, just making sure. Barely get a chance to look at the starry sky, but it looks really great. All this making your head feel fake. Does it do that? I don't have too much experience with hypothermia. <clears throat> Especially not now in the summer. Yep, this is the log sword. That explains all the logs that are, I guess, somewhat sorted. We got another fishing head that we can go to in the morning. I'd like to. But yeah, we got a few trailer huts here. And one of them is going to keep me warm. I don't think any of those have a fireplace. There's a little house, a little hut, which is usually boarded shut. Ooh, what we got here? Ravaged deer carcass. 17 minutes. I'm going to take that meat. So gonna take that meat. God damn yeah. freezing. I know, I know, you're cold. It's okay, but we got some raw venison. For free. Which I'll gladly take. And you're gonna warm up just fine. You're gonna drink an herbal tea, sleep a bit, and you'll be just as new. Just like new. I don't have antibiotics with me, so I can't eat the meat raw. That would have been a possibility. I'm so slow. Okay, I'm not going to go into the trailer just yet. There's nothing for me to burn. Ah, uh, this is boarded shut. Or is it? Yeah, this is boarded shut. There's no way we get into this. So, still no way to cook anything. We have to eat other things first. And again, I do have a hatchet, so I could break down some things. Ooh, a pea coat. Ah, two kilograms. I'll take it. Soda. Tin of coffee. Anything else edible? An accelerant. And is that it is a storm lantern. Hooray! Okay, I want to be careful not using this too much. Because I want to store as much lantern fuel as I can, so do the best that we can. Old bedroll. I need a hunting knife. I do not have such thing to break that down. Ooh, dog food. Okay. So right now I'm maybe a tad hungry, but mostly tired and sleepy. So what I'll do is I will drink a Herbal tea. We've got plenty of those around. Uh, the meat is not too bad, 75%. We're just gonna sleep with the with the meat in our bed. It'll be fine. Okay. I'll rest for 10 hours or however long we're gonna sleep. Basically until we're well rested. And we did sleep for roughly like 9 hours or so. Alright. Well, I'm a little bit thirsty. Understandable. Very understandable. So let's have something to drink. Oh, I don't have water with me? Ooh. That's no good. Okay, dehydrated and ravenous. Um, hmm. That's an odd situation. I am going to drink a soda. That's all I'm going to do. It gives me a little bit of food and a little bit of hydration. 
Good enough. And we're gonna leave the trailer behind. Looking for loot in the house next to us. We're hearing wind or wolves. Sometimes hard to tell. Take those sticks. Thank you very much. And in the trailer we go real quick. Where is it? Wait. Wait, oh, never mind. <clears throat> there is only the trailer. How could I forget? There is only that one trailer. No problem. There are more huts this way, aren't there? I want to say somewhere in this direction there are more huts. But I don't see them. Or are they there? Hmm. Well, no matter what I do, I think for now... Oh, right. We have a little hut over there. So what I'll do is I'll go to this little fishing hut. Thank you. To this little fishing hut to, well, fish or just eat. At least make some water, make some... Uh, cook my meat. Shouldn't take too much. I'm lucky there is some firewood in here that I can use. I can also break down some items. Thanks to my fantastic hatchet. Ah, there's cedar firewood. Very good. And reclaimed wood. And a summit soda. Man, it is, it is indeed my lucky day. What, since it is so early and we are not totally done yet, I might as well chop this open. It's like half an hour or so. Pretty good. And let's start fishing. Two hours. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna be cold. But I got a trout. Yay. 90%. Freezing. That's okay. That's okay. I know that that, that is a thing that could happen. <sighs> All right. Time to start a fire. I'm going to use the accelerant just to get it going real fast. So we warm up quickly. And we're going to add our reclaimed wood. Yeah, sure. Let's add those sticks and the firewood. Everything. Let's just add everything. It's going to bring up the heat output nice and up. And let's cook that venison. Yeah. You will eat anything right now. Not to worry. We're dehydrated. Something I don't like to deal with usually. Okay, that stuff is cooked. Gonna make me feel a little bit better. And I do not have any water purification pills with me, so I'm just gonna melt. Am I gonna melt that much? Or I could just break down this thing. Right? Oh, wait. Oh, I haven't checked the drawers yet. My bad. Herbal tea. I got plenty of that. Line. Yeah, I'm not surprised I'm gonna find fishing supplies here. Hmm. I can't break those down. I was actually wrong. Hmm. Doesn't matter. Okay, I'm first I'm gonna cook everything I have. Warming up nice. Yes, you'll get water, not to worry. Wonderful! Everything is cooked from what I can tell. Uh, we're a little bit thirsty, so let's go ahead and melt... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Two liters of snow. Let's see how long that takes. Shouldn't take too long. And that's plenty of time to boil it. And boil that. Uh, I can't purify since... Actually, I can purify. I have pills. That's good. You know what? Then I'll melt as much as I can in those 34 minutes. And the rest is gonna be... Yes, 1.8 liters. The rest is going to be made safe. Where's the potable water? It's gonna be made safe with those pills. Actions. Nope, that doesn't work. Water purification pills. Here. Use. We can purify 4 liters of water. Or 0.26 gallons. I mean, what else am I going to use them for other than actually purifying water? So might as well save some time here. Have some extra water. There you go. Since we're hungry, I think we deserve some delicious food. This is... Wow, this is a big fish. Yeah, that's only... That's only 230 calories. That's not a whole lot. And I guess fish or... Which one? Let's keep the fish. Let's eat the venison. Wonderful! Next step, we're gonna be making our way onto this hill. This is... Rabbit Mountain. I forgot what it's called. It's it's something with rabbits. And we're gonna go there. Onto that hill. Hopefully not triggering any of these beasts wandering on the ice. I don't know why there are so many on the ice. Ah, oh, a deer. Oh, poor deer. Wouldn't it be the worst if you ran into the wolves and they left, like, food behind for me to then eat? Wouldn't that be the worst of things? I mean, I'm not going to try to push it into there. It will probably be eaten by them regardless. But that'd be a really great thing. Oh, please tell me that I turned off the lamp and I didn't burn it all out. <sighs> okay, I turned it off. For a second, I thought I didn't. That would have been pretty bad. We got a dead guy, we got a dead guy. <clears throat> and he had a tin of sardines. And you were so close. You were so close to that house. You could have stayed there and survived. You were a tin of sardines for like maybe 10 more minutes. You would have just had to walk a few more feet and you'd been there. Bummer. 
Well, that's how it can go. Okay, let's have a quick look. This is called the... Uh, the Coastal House. It's just called Coastal House. <coughs> well, I guess it's not a homestead. It's just a plain old boring house. New sprints. So many news. Who's delivering the news here anyway? I wouldn't match his... Cabinet. Where are you going, Wheatley? Would you... Thank you. Stop running all over me. Very much appreciate it. You're just hanging on there. Like, this is no big deal. Are you, are you happy with yourself? Ah, tin of coffee, man. We're never gonna sleep. <clears throat> Wonder if there's an achievement for staying up 48 hours or something just with coffee. Just based on that or like a week in the game. Something silly like this. I'd love to see something like that. Okay, the kitchen yielded two soda so far. Maybe something in the oven. Mmm, some cooked venison, please. That'll come in handy. More soda. Ooh, look at that. Fresh lake whitefish cooked 100%. Ooh. <clears throat> look at his face. That's, that is one judgmental face if I've ever seen one. Anyway, it's 100% fresh, so it couldn't have been cooked too long ago. Unless it's frozen and might hold itself longer. Yeah, we got some food. Very happy about that. Sp food that spoils, so I don't feel bad eating it. And just keeping all the cans for uh, when the blizzard no comes. This decent down vest. Decent sports socks. This is all decent. Very decent here. And the shelf, we have some gloves. I'm not going to use the bed. Ooh, bandage. I can make those myself. Just, I'll have you know, I can make those myself. Okay, simple tools. Not needed, considering that we already have some. I think, I think we even have them in the inventory. Yes, 100%. We don't have a need for a second pair of it. We're going to be doing all repairs in the Quonset gas station. Winter coat. Oh, that's heavy. That's very heavy. It weighs heavy on me. Take all the toilet water, please. And yeah, I think it's a good time to head back because we are super encumbered. But totally worth it. Ooh, medicine shelf. More bandages. We're getting there. We'll we'll accumulate 20 or so, or we need 10. Emergency stim. Always practical if you're out and a bear is chasing you. Okay, how much am I carrying? 37. That means our energy is going to go down fairly quickly. So I'm going to be heading to the Quonset gas station past all of these wolves. I'm hoping to pass all of these wolves. And over there, we can probably gather some wood or so. Uh, where do I head? I think... I think it was this direction. I see these weird pillars of wood. So it must be facing this way. Let's just hope for the best. All right, here's the dead guy. The dead guy who didn't make it. Sad fate. Oh, can I use him as a storage container? Yes, I can store things on him. Interesting. And the deer is still alive. Not for long, buddy. You're not going to be alive for much longer. I need to find a place to rest. I should be drinking a coffee at this point. But I don't have any. You know what would be great to find? A compass. A compass would really help out. Why are they not in the game? I mean, it's a survival game, so there should be a compass in here that you can find. Well, I'm super exhausted. I'm starting to get hungry again. But at least I'm warm. You gotta... You gotta be optimistic about this, about your chances of survival. I don't think I'm gonna... I could sleep for an hour or two, but I don't see the point. Oh, there's three deer. Three of you guys. Ah, and no wolves. What a shame. Pretty sure that would be a great hunt. Well, that took me a while to get here. After all, this is the long, long dark. And... I think... Yeah, wait, did I check that car out? Ah, since I'll be heading in this direction, I'm not gonna check it out now. I still gonna aim for- Oh, you're gonna run over me? Okay, you do you. You just- uh, Yeah, feel free to ignore me. That's- That's fine. Pfft. One of my favorite things from this map is the fact that there's one huge road spanning everything. So it's really easy to navigate once you find the road. And if you're not on the road, you get on the mountains and go towards the water or the other way. And then from the road, you find most places fairly easily. At least the most important landmarks like the Quonset gas station or the coastal houses in the back. And following this road will bring you even to the crumbling highway. So yeah, great map. Right, might as well grab some sticks and branches while I'm the way. 
I mean, I'm still warm. I don't see a reason to not do that. Got some more sticks. Even though I, I, I think we have all of them. Let's have a quick look. Sticks. Nah. Need 11 more, so... Shit, there's a wolf. Guys, there's a wolf. Ooh. Alright, light the flare. It's not worth it. Not worth getting eaten. And they're all around me. Ah, so close. Well, <clears throat> no, 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 no. Bad, bad, bad doggy. Just go inside. Don't, don't bite my butt. We're good. And I got some light to see what I'm doing now. Cool, we made it back. Time to throw out all the loot I found. And sp uh, especially all the cans and such. Uh, soda goes over here, I think. Okay, let's drop all the coffee. I don't really need it right now. Okay, very good. We cleaned out our inventory, and I should be going out anytime soon. Um, should be going out very soon, actually. Uh, I'm not... I, I might as well make a fishing tackle. I see no reason not to. And with that bit of flare I have left, I'm gonna chop down some uh, branches to get some firewood, because this is one of the goals we do have, is to make ourselves some uh, firewood for the upcoming blizzard. So yeah, I know we still have wolves around. And I'd love to avoid those as best as possible. I think they scattered off. I see one in the back. I hear no barking, which I personally think is fantastic. It's a fantastic sign that you have some peace and quiet. But yeah, let's break down that stick. And I see some big fat branches over there that I'm going to turn into proper firewood. Ah, oh, yeah, now we're talking. That's the stuff. Cedar limb. Yeah, the flare does not survive that. And it doesn't seem that wolves move faster while I chop that on because... Well, first of all, I should drop this thing that I'm holding. Where is it? Uh, drop. I always have a second one and I'm gonna holster it or hold it in my hand. So I can whip it out as fast as possible. And these are just regulars. There are some bigger branches, which we're going to break into firewood. Ah, oh, now I'm encumbered because I'm tired. You'll be fine. Feels like minus one. Okay, now we're getting cold as well. Very nice. How much are we carrying? Nine logs. Good. Yeah, it's getting getting too dark for my taste. Find something to eat. Oh, right. To eat. I do have... I do have fish. You could have eaten that all along. I'm so sorry. I for totally forgot about that you need to eat. Sorry. You, you're happy now? You've eaten something. Good for you. Good for you. It says one hour of daylight left, but I don't really consider this too much daylight anymore. This is so dark. This could be anything but daylight. Maybe it could say twilight or so. Or it's, it is dusk. I hear footsteps, but I don't know where, if they're coming from a, from me or the wolves. Oh, stop, it stopped snowing, how convenient. Good. Hey, you, you keep howling. It's not gonna, gonna make you food. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't seen that one before. Yeah, Bear grills. I mean, if you want to drink your own pee, hey, all the power to you. Wait, that locker is still locked and I haven't looked into it? I'm the worst. Let's let's change that right now. Well, that was totally worth it. Okay, it's time to drop whatever we have in our inventory. Drop those sticks, drop those lock. All those logs. And let's have a quick look at our um, thing. All right, sticks. We have plenty of sticks. 15 out of 20 wood. Reclaimed wood is another thing. We can get those in the other houses. I should maybe work on that. I mean, I'm a little tired, but it's not a big thing, actually. Uh, tad thirsty, so I'm gonna grab two liters of water and chuck those down. Or at least half a liter, how much it is. Oh, 0.67 to bring you full up. Oh, 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 I hear a wolf. Okay, go back inside. Ah, that wasn't a good idea. Ugh. Scary. No problem, no problem. Uh, I guess I'm gonna stay inside and see if there's maybe a wooden crate that I can break down. Yeah, there's a crate. Uh, 45 minutes. Gives me uh, six reclaimed wood and it is so dark that I can see jack shit. Cool. Uh, tires, barrel. I think that's the only wooden thing I can break. Let's see. There's a cardboard box for more tinder plugs. Might as well clean up the place while I'm here. And can't hurt. I think that's all the wooden items I can break down. There's maybe some another cardboard box if I'm not mistaken, but other than that, that's the extent of it. All right, let us get some sleep. We deserve some uh, shut eye, and ten hours remaining. Might as well rest as long as we can, and see how that goes. Okay, we're a tad thirsty. Our health is back up. That's good. 
Uh, might as well eat some... Yeah, I'll, I'll eat the dog food. Screw it. I'll eat the dog food, I'll drink something. And then I might go fishing slash getting more wood from here. One of the bigger challenges is going to be finding that rifle. I have an idea that it could be at the Trappist Homestead or in Hydro Dam. Uh, Cotter Hydro Dam, that's what it's called. Here, so far, no luck in finding it, and I wouldn't even know where to look for that. Cardboard box, yeah, break that down while you're at it. Good plan. We're very well rested, and I wouldn't mind going uh, fishing. Let's see about that. Ah, it's great, it's foggy. Uh, I guess I could break that, those logs. I mean, the, the earlier we get that out of the way, the better. We'll hear them, whatever. Oh yeah, we're getting we're getting cold. I'm not surprised. Feels like minus nine. Well, we're numb, but we're not taking a condition hit yet. Just hungry. I'm gonna enjoy a granola bar. Cause I'm a hard worker and I I, I deserve it. Fingers feel numb. Well, you've been working in the cold for a few hours, so don't be surprised. <clears throat> All right, so I need just to eat soon. yes, I know. Uh, so I destroyed or harvested the tinder. So we have 44 out of 25 tinder. That's plenty. We have enough softwood and hardwood. We can make a check there. Matches, no problem. Bandages, on the other hand, we still have to produce those. Which we can do by just shredding cloth into them. Uh, ca rifle cartridges. I should probably drop those. Just so I know how many I have. Then again, if I find the rifle and I have to defend myself, this is going to come in very, very handy. Days of food, we'll work on it. Lantern, we have one. Hatchet, we have one. Kerosene, on the other hand, that's a different question. I do have lantern fuel. I don't know if that's considered. Let's see. Um, that's accelerant. That's nice and all. But it's not lantern fuel. I thought I had lantern fuel somewhere in my pack. It might have automatically filled the lantern and kerosene is something else. But yeah, I'm a tad hungry. I should probably consider finding some sort of food source. I think it's as good as time as any to start heading towards Mystery Lake, where I would like to find more loot and other helpful items. Is the wolf still there? Because I'd like to not meet it. All right, looking good. Okay, there's an angry wolf there. Or we could go, ah, Mystery Lake. I know my way <clears throat> around Mystery Lake way better than Desolation Point. So it should be easier for me to find, first of all, find the way there. Actually, I don't need the sticks. Ah, eh, for fire, maybe later. Might as well bring them along. I'm not that heavy. So our next step is going to be the log sword. And uh, you know what? I'm going to run. Um, yeah, I'm a bit cold. Why am I so cold? I thought I was wearing great clothing. Then again, maybe I'm wrong. Or it's just incredibly cold out right now. Um, How cold is it? Eh, minus 14 air temperature and a little bit chill. It's okay. If I were would be anywhere else, I'd be worried, but here we can really just jump into a little hut, sleep an hour to rest, and we'll be good. Oh yeah, also now we get to check out the car we saw earlier. I really want to have a look at that. Maybe there's something good. I still have my Priva with me, right? Yes, I do. Very good. This one says locked, but not a problem. Worn heavy wool sweater. Do I have a Use this. wool sweater? I don't know, but I can get some cloth from it even. I'm not gonna wear it. Ooh, soda, flare, and beef jerky. Thank you, whoever left all that stuff behind in the car. I need to start stashing beef jerky and soda in my car. Actually, I'm not gonna do that with soda because I kind of feel that stuff gets hot and then explodes one of these days. Just because you park the car in the sun, the soda bottle or can expo uh, uh, ex well expands and then explodes. Okay, so this is Lock Sword. Lock Sword is where we're gonna be taking a ride up. Um, still hungry. I could eat the beef jerky, but that's something I want to keep for later. So screw it. You just have to. You just have to take it. Take it like a rugged man you are. One of these days we'll be able to hunt birds. One of these days. Maybe you can already shoot them. I just never tried. Seems like an odd choice. All right, as you can tell, this is the lock sword with the burnt down um, house. And here's your path to the right. Yeah, there you go. This is the lock sword. <clears throat> and then you're going to take this path and we're going to follow this. Uh, where's the abandoned lookout from here? 
think the abandoned lookout is in this direction. That's... The entrance to Pleasant Valley should be somewhere around here. Not too interested in Pleasant Valley. It's really huge and I don't think uh, the loot is worth it. Unless we're going to look for a rifle. Then I have some interest because I know two potential places where there could be one. I know in Mystery Lake you can find a rifle sometimes in the Carter Hydro Dam and sometimes in the Trapper's Homestead. I haven't found it anywhere else yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if you could find one in the Forestry Outlook or... Uh, where else? Maybe Camp Office? I've never found it myself in Camp Office. Yeah, this is fairly easy to find. Ah, uh, yeah, starving. You know what? Let's let's week. let's have a snack. Let's let's drink a soda. This one is bad condition anyway. Give us some calories. I don't think we're too tired. At least this way we're avoiding getting a uh, condition hit. Going straight up will lead us to a trailer and then the little bridge up here. But once you're here, you might as well have a quick look around the corner because I th think there might be a cabin. Only one way to find out. Let's uh, see if we can find it. And if it's there. If my memory serves me right. And my memory does serve me right. Little hut, little cabin over there. So we're not gonna pass up that opportunity. And check out this gigantic hut waiting to be explored. This is really, really dinky. I've seen garden sheds way bigger than this. But beggars can't be choosers. Yes, not bad. All right, lantern fuel. Very good. I thought it would be in my inventory and would not. Oh, there it is. Of kerosene. Okay, 0.4 liters of kerosene. How much do we need? A whole five liters of it. Jeez, that's going to be one of the hardest uh, things to find. All of that kerosene. Uh, flares. There's, there's an abundance of flares in this game. I'm not complaining. Definitely not complaining. So I'm hungry, cold, and tired. Uh, should I eat something? Yeah, I'm going to eat that stale chocolate bar. I'm gonna I'm gonna allow myself that luxury and I'm gonna rest for three hours. Yeah, let's do three hours. We still got four hours of daylight left. Which is plenty to make it across the ravine, I think. And we should have enough energy back. Yeah, this, this will work out just fine. I'm happy with this. Never been so hungry in my life. Oh great, it's a snowstorm. Good, good, good choice. Feels like minus six. Well, I'm not going to stop now. I'm not going to sit it out any longer. We're going to keep going through. Hey, it's just a little bit of wind. It's barely a storm. I'm covered from the wind. It feels like zero, so it's not that bad. I I had worse. I had way worse. One of the few games where I can actually say that, and it's really true. I had way worse. Such a gloomy, ominous and light right now. We're gonna have a quick look at the trailer around the corner. See if there's anything lootable inside. Please, some kerosene. I just realized how hard it's gonna be to find five liters of kerosene in this map. That's... it is really a whole lot. Okay. Bam. Go in the door. Yeah, that, that makes it more spectacular. Storm Lantern. Ooh, okay. Maybe that one is in a better condition. Let's see. Um... Eh... Actually, this one is in a better condition. I'm gonna harvest this and hope that I get my fuel back. Good question. Maybe inside if you're really, really lucky. It looks like I got... Oh, recovered. 0.27 liters. Ah, oh, bummer. I uh, should have used this up first before harvesting the lantern. Oh, kerosene! With 2.8 liters of kerosene! And I just said, like, oh, it's gonna be so hard to find it. But hey, look at me. Lucky, lucky weasel. Okay, what's in here? Some uh, matches... Dog food crate. Uh, basic winter coat. Oh, dead guy. Just the usual. Whatever you can find in one of these places. Okay, he has nothing of interest. A book. One thing I should really consider is uh, plopping some of the loot I have down. Because I'm already carrying 28 kilograms. And if I go to Mystery Lake and I want to bring a lot of stuff over... This is going to slow me down, so the best I could do is leave a lot behind at one location in between. And I assume it's going to be the trailer hut at the loading station, because that's where I'm going to... That, that's what I'm going to pass once I come back from Mystery Lake. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up there, drop some gear, and then I keep going. Do we, did we find some food? I forgot. Ah, dog food. Okay. I will probably eat this. 
For some odd reason, there are no wolves here. Yeah, I know that I'm probably going to jinx myself, but usually there's always a wolf here patrolling and making my life miserable, especially like on the bridge, on the actual bridge. They're sitting and waiting. Ah, well, not complaining, just noting. Yeah, if we follow this up, we're going to come to the train unloading. And then there's a little trailer where I'm probably going to store stuff temporarily. And once I'm on my way back, I can probably have like 60 kilograms of stuff and just very slowly haul it to the Quonset gas station. Or just bring it in chunks. But right now, I don't want to turn around. I want to go to Mystery Lake and loot that. Aha! Train unloading and here's our trailer. Home sweet home. Location discovered. Probably have discovered like 5% at this point of the map. I think the journal will even tell me if I want to know. 12%. Huh. So far, I rested 9 hours. Oh, recently, I guess. Not in general. That would be not a whole lot. Okay, we got a pry bar. At least be in better condition. 86%. Cool. That means I'm going to drop the shitty one right here. I will need a pry bar to pry open all these lockers. Especially in Kata Hydra Dam and such. Okay, more tools that nobody needs. Wool sock that nobody needs. Yeah, plenty of stuff. I could also probably break down some of the beds. But for now, let's go ahead and drop any kind of gear that I don't immediately need. Okay, we're down to 16 kilograms. That's uh, gonna allow us to move around quite a bit. Let's see if we can find some food in here. Okay, granola bar. I need that. Chances I'm gonna need that. New sprint roll. I'm not gonna pick that up now. Considering that I'll bring it... I'm not gonna bring it with me. Can opener. Shelf the break. Uh, we have two hours of daylight left, and I'm a little bit tired. But I'd like to make some more headweight before I actually sleep. So, um, how about that? Yeah, let's let's do that. I'm going to bring... Oh, uh, yeah, put everything on one spot. I'll bring one antiseptic bottle in case we get attacked. I have a bandage and antiseptic to avoid infection risks. Because the longer the game goes on, the more is at stake for us guys. Yeah, I bet you would. Oh, yeah. Are you thirsty? Probably. And I'm out of water. Good news, everyone! I'm out of water! Um, I'm not gonna drink the soda, but I'm going to eat the granola bar. The stale granola bar. Just to keep my uh, condition from dropping. And let's check out the dead guy. It is quite late. I'm, I'm, ooh, another hatchet. Condition 85%. Mine is worse, isn't it? 61. Cool, drop this one. Frozen corpse. Quick look. Have some food on you. You have a soda. You are awesome. Thank you, sir. Okay, quite drained, which means running is not really a possibility. I'm gonna go slowly. Oh, uh, we can't stay in Carter Hydra them. Can we? Because there's Fluffy, and Fluffy is dangerous. I do have a knife to defend myself. And one thing we could do, and it's risky, it is very risky, is fight the wolf so he gets injured. And once he's injured, I can make bandages out of... Yeah, I can, I can still make bandages. If we... If the wolf attacks us, and we fight him with a knife, He's gonna bleed out. It's gonna take a while, he's gonna run around. Um, we might have to hide for a bit, but we could get a kill without having to spend a bullet. And we would eat. It, it would be a crazy mind. plan, but it might work. I do like crazy plans, I really do. But should I play it safe instead? Good question. I'm a bit drained. And that's just a ravine. Uh, I hope I can make it to safe haven before it's completely dark. And I think I've never seen that before, but I think there's an icicle floating in the mid-air. Yep, it's floating mid-air. There it is. Not stuck to anything. What an odd little uh, occurrence. Crazy how nature do that. Crazy how nature do that. It's also getting a little bit cold, but I'm not worried too much about that. Well, worst comes to worst, we could stay in this giant tunnel. Always an opportunity here. Uh, feels like minus nine. No, we could not stay here. We would definitely die. <sighs> because I'm so tired, I'm gonna be get tired even faster. But I do remember how to get home. Uh, how get... not home. Get over the bridge. Um... Yeah, I'm chilled. No, you're not. You're not gonna lay down. Don't be silly. 
I have a way better plan than laying down and sleeping. How about not dying? I know, it's it's a crazy proposition, but it might work. Oh, hey Wheatley, welcome, welcome back. I don't know where you were, but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing okay. Nothing, nothing to worry about. See, this is what happens to you if you're getting too greedy and with your time. Like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna head out right away. Not gonna wait a whole day until I'm fully rested. I'll be fine. I make weasel. I can do this. I've bested blizzards before. Well, and they have bested you as well. Ah, oh, yes, this is where the fun happens. And I think we have to go down here. Yeah, to cross over. Which is a great idea to do in the middle of the night while it's really windy and stormy. I see nothing. Maybe the dead guy over there has something for us in exchange. As like a, a parting or welcoming gift. For him, parting for us more of a welcome thing. What am I talking about? Alright, what do you got on your bed backpack, man? Nothing. What do you got on you? Wow, nothing. You really exhausted all of your resources until you're dead. I still think it would be a fantastic idea to be able to find other players' corpses. Oh, I didn't bring the old man's licking. Didn't bring that. Should have done that. Should have, could have, would have. Uh, you can see some uh, old man's licking. Whatever. I, I, I call it licky lick. Old man's licky lick. I see it over there. Might be worth grabbing some. Give me some licky lick. Licky lick. Ah, uh, should I stay or should I go? Should I stay or should I go now? That's the question. I could stay in this cave. Ah, uh, ooh! A deer! Oh dear. Uh, 0.6 kilograms of meat. That's like six minutes. You know what? I'll harvest that. Sure. Let's do that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a tad cold. Understandable. Break those sticks. We're gonna need more firewood if we wanna stay in here. This is not gonna cut it. We're just exhausted and starving, but we're not freezing to death, for what it's worth. Okay, let's have a quick look in the cave. I doubt there's gonna be a bear in here. But in here it feels like minus two, and there's firewood! Ooh, proper cedar firewood, actually. You know what, even if we don't sleep the whole night, we can sleep for a bit. Let's make a fire. Let's, let's be smart about this. No need to rush any further. Okay, we're gonna use the accelerant because this is an important fire. And Turned out pretty well. Yes, it did. Add all the fuel. Okay, we got three hours and eight minutes. I should have brought some coffee, which I did not. I'm not gonna melt any snow. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'll sleep for two hours, maybe. Yeah, sure. Let's sleep for two hours. Warm up. Uh, place it on the ground. How do I feel? Feels like. At 24 next to the fire, right? What if I'm, like, away from the fire? Feels like three! Okay. That's not too bad. But we shouldn't overdo it. We should just rest for two hours. Giving us that little bit of boost. Oh, I'm starving. I should probably eat something. Yeah. Anyway, we're not cold anymore. <clears throat> and we can take a brand. Yeah. Uh, it's probably not burning for too long, considering that it's just a little stick, but brand is a brand is a brand. I'll gladly- Oh, the meat! Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. I need to cook and eat the meat. That's one of the reasons I made the fire. Moldy venison, 44%. Ah! The fire will take care of the mold. It'll be fine. Right, let's take another brand. Fresh one. Let's gobble up that meat. Where is it? Mm, there it is. I know, you said that earlier, you didn't faint, did you? And then you got two hours of sleep. You should feel way more awake. I mean, two hours isn't a whole lot, I'll give you that, but still. Okay, since we're not gonna be running, this will be fine. Wait, did I just... Don't drop that, give me that. Give me that back. I don't know why it didn't show me the, the duration anymore. But yeah, we can wrench it. Just for funsies. Yeah, let's be angry at nature. Screw your nature! Oh, I... Oh, good job, Weasel. You did. You, you you ruined it. You ruined it by swinging it around like an idiot. Oh well. Mystery Lake. We made it. Oh yeah. So now my plan is kind of silly. I mean, not only kind of silly. It is really. It's borderline stupid. 
but it has a chance of success. So that's why I'm considering doing it. Oh, wait, there's a wolf out here. I don't want to deal with a wolf out there. I just want to deal with the wolf in Carter Hydro Dam. Run, weasel. Run, 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 run. Okay. So. In you go. All right, it's the middle of the night in Carter Hydro Dam. I do have a knife, right? Uh, I, I got a hatchet. That, that'll do too. I don't need to equip that. I could also just carry around a single flare, the only one that I have left. Ooh, kerosene! Sweet, with three liters of it. We'll also take this. Um, I don't need to fight the wolf. I might be able to avoid him, but I want his meat. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, maybe my plan, after all, is not very smart and I should avoid it. But we'll see. If I get attacked, I'll roll with it. If I can't avoid it, I might not do it. Um, uh, the filing cabinets, sure. Let's go for these. See what we have inside. We're definitely already encumbered. I cannot sleep here. I do, I, I can not sleep here. I would have to find another place. Uh, like the trailers or something. And I'm just using the flare instead of the lantern because it will keep the wolf away. And if I'm extra lucky, I can have a second... Uh, I will find a second flare because I left all my flares behind. All right, cloth, emergency stim... Tools, no amino care. Okay. Flare. Books. Ooh, rifle cartridge. It's called cartridge, so I'll roll with it. I'll call it cartridge as well. It looks like the doors are empty. The safe. Ah, the safe. And this safe is taking its sweet time. There you go. Okay, where's the last one? There you go. Nailed it. Open it up. <sighs> what have we here? Ooh, ammunition. Five rounds. That brings us way closer to our goal. Oh, having ten. I think I have seven at this point. Here, we got a candy bar, so we don't have to eat a wolf after all. First aid kit. Contains antiseptic bandages. Good, 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 good. Oh, you're not gonna lay down now. There's a wolf in here. I'm fully aware of the condition hits you're taking. Wooden matches. Okay. Jeans, gloves. You know what? I'm gonna leave these behind. I got so much to carry around already. Okay, let's pry that open. Sewing kid, ragged down ski jacket. Oh, guys, I have an idea where I could stay and avoid the wolf. Completely avoid the wolf. At least for the time being. Should have definitely brought two flares. Okay, we went through all the lockers. I guess now it's time to face our demon. Wolfman. Unless I can make him run away. Where is he? Wolfman. Think he, I mean, he should be here. I don't know where else he would be. Where he would be. Probably running around somewhere in that open room if he's not in the hallway. I don't know his exact pattern. Wait, there's no wolf? He must be somewhere. I have a hard time believing that he's not in this. There's always Fluffy in here. Oh, Pinnacle Peaches, Beef Jerky, and in the metal container we got nothing. Okay, I think the flare is slowly giving in. Yep, it's slowly going out. All right, lantern it is. Yeah, I don't see him. This thing is super bright. Like, super bright, and I don't see him. I mean, he's not here. Yeah. I feel I should have already encountered him. So I guess my plan from killing him and then eating him, that falls flat. I still would not feel comfortable sleeping here. What I'll do is I'll go to the lower dam where I'm going to sleep. Then I'm going to head back out again. But yeah. I haven't seen a wolf yet, so... Maybe I got really lucky. The game is very forgiving today. I was just thinking that I would look for here and he would be walking inside the control room. It's like, yeah, I'll come for you. But that's not the case. He didn't get lucky either. But I see ammunition. Another hatchet. That'll come in handy. 82%, no care. 82. Ooh, another flare. Good. So in case we do meet another wolf, we'll be fine. Alright, I think for now we're gonna take a nap here. Because I'm way too exhausted. Uh what does it feel like right now? It feels like two, so we're not gonna freeze. I do need to eat something and drink something. If I guess some sodas, it's gonna it's gonna be some sodas, yeah. So we don't have too much water. Water is a little short, surprisingly, or not surprisingly. I will definitely need to cook some. But that was a plan to not carry around too much.
All right, I'm gonna rest for eight hours. Hopefully bringing up that condition. Hooray! Survived for four days, 17 hours. Uh, pick that up, and according to my inventory, we have... Oh, wait, I thought I had more jerry cans. A horse. Huh. I thought I, I found a second one. Oh, I'm, I left that one behind. Right, so we ha definitely have five liters of kerosene. We can uh, make a check mark there where it is. Kerosene, five liters. Water, shouldn't be too hard. Lantern we have, hatchet we have. The rifle. It is the rifle, guys. It is mostly the rifle. Drink. And soon. You'll get something. Don't be so impatient, man. Don't be so friggin' impatient. You'll get it. I think I'm going to check out the lower dam just to see if we can find some useful, uh... Well, food and water-related items in there. I will also gladly take more kerosene for my lantern here. Or... Oh, wait. What, what if Fluffy's in here? Ah, uh, now I'm nervous. Uh, sewing kit, yes, yes. Bandage, thank you. Nothing in those filing cabinets. Not that I expected anything in them. Barely anything in them. Okay, orange soda. Every container you... Oh, metal control box. Huh. Uh, every container you don't look into is a potentially missed important item, so better make sure to even check those silly filing cabinets, even though the chances are ludicrously low that there's something in there. These huge generators, they do freak me out. Ugh, hate weak. huge machinery like that. Getting weak because you're hungry and dehydrated. Yes, I can see that. We need to, we need to make a fire. To cook ball some water at least. That's one of the biggest things I'm missing. More wooden matches, candy bar. I'm such a lucky camper. Oh, a torch. Fantastic. I don't know why that's been laying here. Same with the scarf. I'm expecting to find a dead person up here now that loved this scarf and the torch. There's a backpack. I'm following a trail or something. Definitely following a trail. Tools not needed. I don't even think I need my lantern here. It's quite bright in here. Ooh, crackers! Hope no Yum. This and water! <laughs> this game... I've been the luckiest in this game. I got water, I got food. This is great. Surviving is easy! I mean, if you, if you find the right stuff, obviously, but... For now, this is gonna keep me alive. I hate eating non-perishable stuff. But I don't have anything to do with that yet. I don't have any meat. You know, five more bullets and a rifle. Oh, I, I'd be set. I'd be set for, well, the blizzard, not for life. I could use this. Bet you could. Who, who could not use a soda? Who could not use something to drink? Like, you look at it, it's like, hmm, yeah, that's water. I, 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 don't, I could not use this. I have no, 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 no need for this. Water? What is that? Other than that, nothing too fancy. Ooh, work boots. 63%. I can't look at them or maybe rip them apart. Because I already got decent work boots. But if I harvest them, they're way lighter. Otherwise, they're going to be like 2 kilograms. This way, I'm not super encumbered. Yeah, we're good. Obviously, going to wear the thing in a better condition. Oh, yeah, the filing cabinets. Cloth! Hooray, I found cloth and filing cabinets. Okay, on beef jerky, I, I take it back. Filing cabinets are fantastic. Okay, I'll be heading back. I'm not gonna go down to Winding River. I wanna explore more of Mystery Lake. Anything. Yeah, I know, okay. You, you're hungry, I get it. Uh, you're gonna get nothing. You're just gonna be hungry now. And let's hope we find a deer carcass we can harvest. I have to, I have to be uh, really protective of my food stash. Can't just uh, gobble that off. Yeah, this is, that would lead to uh, Winding River, as far as I know, but we're gonna head out to Mystery Lake. Wait, oh! Oh, it's you! I've been following you! You've been hanging out here. I t didn't that happen to me before? I just, like, walked out of the door, and when you walk out of the door, you don't see him. Where is he? There's no one. And then you look down, ah, oh, there's a dead guy. Classic. Classic dead guy right jokes. Here. Okay, 0 0.6 liter of kerosene. I'll take it. I'll take it and harvest it and get the fuel for myself. Good times. Good times. Am I gonna 
cook something. Uh, I do have some firewood with me. I could make a fire. But right now, let, let's wait until I have something that requires cooking. And that there's no wolf now here. That'd be very awkward. I would be wondering where it came in. Uh, it seems that we're good. Good. All right, let's turn that thing off. Nobody needs it. And let's go ahead and break down the other stone lantern. This says 0.6 liter, 0.7 something. So we're going to harvest this one for some scrap metal and the remainder of fuel that I'm going to get. Not too much. It's got some scrap metal, but this one should be filled up. Yes. Wait, where? Oh, this thing is full. Four out of four liter. I have a second Storm Lantern? What? Why do I have a second Storm Lantern in here? I guess I'll I'll carry so that around. Hungry. No, you're hungry. Don't worry. You're not forgotten. He's so, so, so complainy. So complainy. Ah, fantastic. I mean, starving isn't too bad. It, as you can see, you can you can work around starving. Uh, working around drained is always trickier because you're getting slow. But if I'm not mistaken, I can just take this quick route here to the trailers, where hopefully we'll find some lootable things, some food to loot. Okay, this is not it yet. It's around those, like, rocks. I was hoping I could do that. Yeah, seven hours of daylight left, and I'm already completely drained. Definitely not going well. Soon. I know you do. I know you do. Don't you? Don't you worry. I'm not forgetting you. You'll get some rest soon. I'm hearing wolves. I'm hearing wolves. I'm totally hearing wolves. But I also see a ravaged carcass. Oh yeah! It is nom nom time soon. Let's hope there's some 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 good meat in there. I'm not cold. Just exhausted and starving, so I'll be taking condition hits. Uh. That's a deer sound, right? I'm trying to hear that. Okay, let's see. Frozen corpse. Little someone. Someone had a little nibble there. Little uh, subtle nibble on the shoulder. Can't blame him. Can't blame the wolves. And here on the other end, we have the ravaged carcass. Okay. Let's see what we can do. 1.5 kilograms of meat. That's not bad. 15 minutes. Super okay with that. That's not too bad. I'll gladly spend that time. And I think next to the trailers, there is a little burnt down hut with a stove, which I can use. So better make sure to pick up some sticks along the way. So I have some material. Also, I can't run anymore. You have a... F nah. Yeah, I do have a... Too heavy. Torch. I know. I know. But we are heavy. We're heavy metal. Do I have anything that will burn, by the way? Let's have a look. I Oh, I have cedar firewood. I actually don't need a whole lot of other stuff. That's going to be enough to burn those two pieces of meat. And I don't know if you can see them, but I can somewhat make them out. There's the little trailer huts coming up on the left. That's where we're going to find, hopefully, plenty of good loot. I might as well pick up some sticks on the way, because we could just boil ourselves some water. I'm, low, I'm pretty low on that as well, so... We can increase the fire duration a bit. Why not? Why not? Doesn't cost us much more. We are already slow like a snail, so might as well... <sighs> Bring whatever. Okay, most importantly, we're gonna deal with the hunger now by cooking ourselves some deer meat, some venison. Yes, some venison shall be cooked. Mmm. As expected. Oh, a hatchet. I don't need that. Uh, as expected, we got ourselves a stove. Okay. Cardboard matches. I don't have accelerant, right? Oh, actually, I do. 100% chance. Um. 60 without accelerant. You know what? Let's let's use the accelerant. Screw it. Here goes nothing. This way we know we have Turned a fire burning. Well. And don't light the torch, please. Just put that away. I'll keep the torch. Thank you very much. And I'll cook the venison. Okay, 38 minutes. Might as well melt as much snow as I can. Oh, cancelled? Oh, I don't even get anything? Um, ah, bummer. Oh, well. What can you do? I have a little bit of water left. Not too much. I'll drink that. Thank you. Yeah, it didn't do too much for us, did it now? And the fire is completely out. And it's a storm! Oh, lovely! Ah, oh, that's just fantastic. That is the kind of stuff that I, that, that I need. 
That's what I need right now, okay? Okay, before we sleep, we're gonna check out these hearts. Use as much daylight. Another lantern! Ooh, accelerant, good. I just used mine. Down vest. I'll break that down and repair something. Eh. I'll break it down. Get it? I just am the worst. Okay. Military grade MRE. Ooh, yes. That's not gonna be eaten. That's gonna be stored. That's food for a day. Good. Ah, uh, storm lantern. How much fuel is in there? Ah, uh, barely anything. Ooh, another a jerry can. 1.5 liters of kerosene. Which means I'm going to disassemble that lantern. Because we have a jerry can that we can fill up. Actually, both of them. Action harvest. Gonna take an hour. Whatever. That's okay. We take a few condition hit point hits, that's okay. I'll just drink some tea and it'll be fine. Uh, harvest. Yeah, yeah, we have over five liters. Six and a half liters and seven and a half liters, thanks to that storm lantern. We're definitely good on that front. Uh, the scrap metal, yeah. I'm gonna drop all of that. It's just heavy. But I'm going to repair whatever we can here. This thing needs to be repaired. It's heavy and we're carrying it around. Might as well make sure this is in top-notch condition. Let's see. That's now 82%. That's the best I can... I, I'll do. Uh, I want to repair the work boots somehow, but I can... Hmm, yeah. What, what, what needs repairing? What does need repairing real quick? I guess the wool sweater. We could repair that. Takes one hour be really dark then. Hopefully it's not too dark to fin- Ah, damn it, it's too dark to finish it up. Ah, well. Not too dark to rip stuff apart, though. Okay, now I'm also parched. I love living on the edge. Okay, since all of my stats are currently <laughs> really bad, I think I should eat something. Eat and drink. Some of that delicious venison. Very fresh, very healthy. And water. Uh, since I do not have any water with me right now, I'm just going to drink a soda. You know what, I'll drink a second soda. And I'll worry about making some water tomorrow. For now, I'm just going to spend the night shredding more items, like these leather boots. Yeah, I really want to start a fire, but I do need some more stuff that burns. And this is not doing it for me. I can break down the shelf one and a half hours. Sure, let's do that for some reclaimed wood. And we're going out to our little hut to the right. Yeah, we're doing this in the middle of the night. We're doing this in the middle of the night. Feels like minus two. Oh, doesn't feel that cold. Surprised. Guess I'm wearing really good clothing or so. Or it's just a warm night. Warm, you know, for the long dark standards. Uh, fuel. I got the reclaimed wood. And a book, so that's where I'm gonna start. And that should do just fine. All right, let's go ahead and melt some slow. And very important to boil all of that stuff. Well, not the water, that's what I'm preparing right now. I'm letting it, not gonna let go of the water. Okay, we got more than enough water, five liters now. How much left is on there? Uh, one hour and 17 minutes. I guess I could just cook an herbal tea. Because we're gonna need another one now, when we're gonna sleep. Three hours darkness left. We're obviously gonna sleep into the day. I'm not too worried about time. We have 24 hours left. That's plenty of time. Uh, 24 days left. That's plenty of time for what I'm trying to accomplish here. Uh, let's go into this hut. I haven't looked through that one yet. And I just keep saying, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna sleep soon. I'm gonna sleep soon. And <laughs> find something to drink. Oh yeah, right, right, right. Okay, drink I can give you. I can, I, I can help you there. We got something there. Oh, isn't that great? All of that water just for you. You don't even have to share it. That match. Oh, there's reclaimed wood in there. We didn't even have to uh, break it down, but whatever. That happens. Chocolate bar, cardboard matches. I think I have enough matches. I mean, I have so many that's I'm using them as a lantern instead of actually using a lantern. Screw it. We, we, we can be... We don't have to live that frugal. Frugally. Frugally is a funny word. Okay, that trailer was slightly disappointing. A little bit of food, but not too much. Oh, that fire's still burning. I can hear it from here. And the last trailer. This is also the trailer we're probably going to be sleeping in. Let's hope. There's some good stuff. Otherwise, I have to leave again. 
Okay, book for another fire. I don't think I'm going to start a fire anytime too soon. Jerky. And if I need to start a fire to cook some venison, I can just pick up some sticks. Oh. So, no reason to bring anything along. Can opener. Ooh, beef jerky and a soda. Sounds like my, my meals. My regular meals. I will take that firewood, though. And it's sleepy time. Well-deserved sleepy time. Wait, wait, wait. Drink, drink a tea. Drink a cup of tea. Herbal tea. That's going to help out. And eat some really shitty, moldy, salty crackers. That's fine. Hopefully, don't get food poisoning. Yep, we're good. And we're going to rest. Eight hours. Or, yeah, eight hours should do the trick. So, it is a fresh new start. I'm super encumbered. Eh, not too much. Mostly thanks to this stuff. A piece of wood. And the water, the extra water we have. A bit parched. Uh, it's windy, but I do know my way around here. So what I'll do is I'll go up the... And go to the lookout. In the hopes to find a rifle there. Chances are there might be one in there. Ah, the ranger lookout. So I have to head in this direction. God, it's so windy. But we're at 100%. We're a little bit hungry. Not super relaxed yet. That's to be expected. Since we were in a really shitty condition. I see a wolf back there. Oh, it's so bright. It's hurting my eyes. And I think I saw a little bit of a bear there. Is there a bear? Mr. Bear? No, it's a wolf. It's, it's still a wolf. It's hard to tell when they're so far away, you just have a few pixels. Oh, it's three wolves. It's it's a, it's a whole gang of wolves. Cool. And that one's angry. I'm gonna light a torch because they're onto me. They're very onto me. So stay the frig away. You suck. You all suck. I do not want to deal with you. I know you're hungry. Guess what? Who else is hungry? It's me. No. Bat wolf. Bat wolf, stay away. I'll, I'll, I'll just keep keep flashing this thing around. Okay. How about we run for a little bit? Probably not the worst idea I ever had. Just get away from these guys. One of them is still running after me. Yeah, one of them doesn't know when to quit. No. I admire his persistence. I admire him for not giving, wanting to give up. But also, he's going on my nuts. I don't even know if that is an English idiom. It's a German one. Auf die Nüsse gehen. I don't know if that is an actual English idiom. Well, let me know in the comments. You should let me know in the comments. Okay, we made it to the clear-cut area. Which is, you know, called clear-cut area for an obvious reason. And we're going up this hill, which should lead us to the outlook. Hopefully holding a rifle. That would make my life so much easier. How many bullets do I have with me right now? Nine. Okay. So if we find the rifle with, let's say, two bullets in there, we're... Even one will do just fine. Then we're in a good position. And anything that... Any, any extra bullet allows me to hunt down... Oh, that thing went off. Cool. Uh, too windy to light torch. Did it go off because of that, or is it just burned out? Nope, it's not burned out yet. It's just so windy that it is off. I did not know that is a thing. I guess that what have what, that's the advantage of flares over them. Uh, this path takes forever to get up to the lookout. Well, at least we're not encountering any more animals on our path, but ah, oh, it's so beautiful. This makes me always forget all the trouble I have. If I just see this. It's so nice. Even if it... Especially, I think, thanks to the abstraction. I'm not trying to be the most hyper-realistic game in terms of looks, but it's just so coherent. It looks great. Okay, yeah. I, I do not want to be there when that gives in. And that, we are nearly up here. I could eat anything right now. Well, how about... How about... Do, what, what, what food do we have? We have dog food and an MRE. I'm not touching that MRE. That is way too uh, important. It's going to help us store food. Then again, 
I will have to survive to get back to the Quonset gas station. So, unless I find a rifle now, I don't see a whole lot of options for me there. Please let it be a rifle, otherwise I'll ha I'll definitely have to go to Trapper's Homestead, which I am thinking of going anywhere. But let's see. Close the door, and nope, there's not a rifle hanging. <gasps> Ammunition! Five rounds. Ooh, sweet. That means if we find a rifle, we're going to be set for a bit. A whetstone, that's going to allow me to repair my items. Uh, for more food. Okay, we're going we're gonna to enjoy some food. Screw it. Uh, something that's... Not in the best condition. Yeah, here are the banged up pinnacle peaches. Let's eat those. That'll help you. And we have a lot of beef jerky. It's a bit stale. It's on the stale side. But you, you can't you can't ask for a whole lot in this situation. Okay, we have a mountaineering rope, which I don't think I'm gonna need anytime soon. I mean, it is entirely possible that I could go down the hill with this. You know, what, I'll, I'll try it after I get some sleep. Uh, not gonna need some firewood. I'm not cooking anything. Uh, first aid kit. And it might as well bring it along. Antibiotics. Painkillers. Good stuff. And we're gonna sleep for... Uh, let's do three hours. I don't wanna sleep for too long. But I still want enough daylight left so we can make it to the Trapper's Homestead. Which might hold the so much needed rifle. Alright, we got some... we got some shut-eye. I'm not gonna eat or drink anything. I'm not gonna run, but... Oh, dead, dead, dead guy. Hey, dead guy. I mean, the mountaineering rope must have been there for a reason, so I think we might be able to climb down here? Never done that in this map. But I'm curious. Be. Grape soda, summit soda. Okay, let's see. Give me some good news. Uh, this is the path that... down. Oh, how lovely. You, you would imagine that you could climb down here somewhere, considering how, like, steep it is. But no. And I also have to get my bearings. I have to figure out in which direction I want to head now. Well, I don't see a way, really, to use my rope here to go down, so I'll just drop this. Screw it, I'm not gonna need the rope. I'm just gonna walk down slowly and carefully down the hillside. If we go sideways, it's not gonna be too fast. And we're gonna use the frozen creek, which I saw from the top of the hill, as a way to find my bearings and figure out where I am. Oh, what? Sprained wrist? How? How, how did I do that? I just walked. I mean, I... I... I guess? Maybe I maybe I held the torch wrong and, spra and, and sprained my wrist. Who knows? Okay, so this frozen lake should lead us to a little pond. Frozen creek, yeah, or... yeah. Somewhere down there. And I have a rough idea where I have to head, hid, head from that point to find the Trapper's Homestead, which might hold the rifle. Rifle being the most important item right now on my search. I think I have most of the other things, or should be able to find most of the other things. And with a rifle, I can find a lot of food. Oh, it is so windy, I can barely move forward. Great. Super great. I should drink something. Just to reduce the weight a little bit. It doesn't make a huge difference after all. But it does do that little bit. Just the psychological little bit. Even if I walk the same... Is that a dead guy? That might very well be a dead guy. I got more important things to do. Is, is that... Or is it a deer? Because if it was a deer, I could harvest it. But it looks more like a dead guy, so whatever. It's not like I can help him anymore. That 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 is a little late. But yeah, it's picking up, and I'll have to worry a little bit about cover. Oh, hey, old man's licking. L old man licky lick. Give me that, please. There's more over there. Okay, so here we got a little hut. That's not going to help us too much. Oh, I hate this weather. And, and the weather hates me for that matter. I guess here I wouldn't freeze to death. But we only have three hours of daylight left, so I'm a bit worried. Oh, great! It's a bear! Oh! Yes, cattail plants. Give me those stalks. We can harvest this real quick and get some extra food. 150 calories per pop. That's a great deal. Uh, it's... When the wind gets so loud that I have a hard time hearing myself, that's when it's bad. Okay, unnamed pond. Okay, the bear's just hanging out there. You don't see me, right? You're just standing there. 
Yeah, he doesn't seem to be heading towards me, so... I'm not gonna run to attract anything. Oh! Give me more of those! It's food! Very important. Please, bear, don't see me, because I don't have the means to defend myself. What is this? Is this just cedar firewood? It might be? Okay, I'll bring it along in case I need to make a fire somewhere. In case I get stuck. I'll bring it along. But I hope I don't have to use it. Okay, broken arrow. Painkillers! However, they're not falling down with that wind. <gasps> Cartridge. And porks and beans. And newsprint. Eh, screw the newsprint. Okay, facing off in this direction, there should be the Trapper's Homestead coming. I am already encumbered. And I'm really, really slow. At least I don't have to go against the wind. It would be the worst at this point. Ah, uh, we got the huge walls of stone over on this side. So if we bear in this direction, we should find... We should find the Trapper's Homestead. Luckily, we can somewhat see where we are. And I see two deers over there. Not that I can shoot them or gather everything from them. From them, but... At least I'm not alone. We're together in this deer, aren't we? Oh man, I'm tired. I'm not blaming me. Cool, I can't run anymore. I'm officially... Exhausted. What, what are you saying? I don't, I don't hear you with all that wind. You're way too quiet. Ah, uh, there's a wolf, and he's somewhat heading in my direction. I can't light the torch, but I have some flares. So in case in case he approaches, I already have it ready. I'm not going to make the mistake of not having something in my hand when I need it. Oh, dead guy. Huh. Not that that helps me. I just see him laying there. Maybe if I come back, I'll check him out. For now, it's all about finding the Trapper's Homestead. Okay, can I see it from here? Yes, I can see it from here. Woohoo! Now, let's be careful about meeting the wolf. If I'm super lucky, I'm gonna find a ravaged deer caucus next to that hut. I've, I've seen it spawn there many a times. I would be very lucky because I could use some extra meat that I can cook in there. If not, we still have enough to eat. We're not gonna starve or anything. It's just, you know, so convenient. And please let there be a rifle, otherwise I'll have to... I'll have to walk quite a bit to find a place with a rifle. Because I'm, I'm running out of ideas where that could be. Yes! Ravaged deer caucus. Only 0.9 kilograms of meat. At least we're not going to have to sit out in the cold too long. Or firewood, I'll grab it because I'll head inside. Anyway. You're just grazing. What are you grazing? There's just snow everywhere. How are you just... Totally cool standing in the snow, like, yeah, whatever, I'm just grazing. I guess there's some grass. It's gonna Still, get colder soon. sun is setting. Oh. Hey there. Yeah, don't be afraid, I don't have a gun. New location discovered, Trapper's Homestead, finally. Please let there be a rifle. Oh, I never noticed that there are crosses. I never noticed that. Either they're new or I'm just completely blind and never seen those before. Well, gotta bury them somewhere. Might as well make it close to your house. At least that way you don't have to go far to visit their grave. No, no rifle. Ah, uh, I had high hopes, but at least we're warm and we might be able to find some more loot. Okay, flares, granola bars, matches. I'm just gonna grab everything I can and sort it out later. Two more cartridges, yes. Painkillers. I have so many. Purification tablets are great as well. Another jury can. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Oh, I bet it is. You must be. Your back must be breaking at this point. Rifle cleaning kit is gonna be great if I ever have one. Ragged ins. Ooh, insulated boots. Those might be better than the work boots I have. I think they are. Plug, bandage, antibiotics, antiseptic. Yeah, don't put it into the first aid kit. That would just be silly. You know, like right next to it. What else you gotta do here? Scrap metal. You know, now that I'm here, I wonder if I can repair something. I can make several things, but I can't repair them like that without tools. Okay, there's another rifle cleaning kit. No need, thank you very much. Lantern fuel. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Yeah, we'll be fine. Another lantern. Oh my god, I'm so slow. You, you, you can tell, can't you? 
drop some stuff. I mean, at this point, do I need that much kerosene? Uh, actions. Repair requires scrap metal. And tools, which I do not have. I'm gonna harvest that lamp. I've never been so hungry in my life. What about earlier when you were hungrier? Okay, we have some gamey venison that I can cook. Yeah, I'm gonna try- oh, it's it's too dark to repair. Right, right, uh, so that's not happening. What about dropping in the bedroll? Or just sleeping for once, just just sleep. I think I think I deserve a full night's rest. And eat something. Ha have a stale chocolate bar. Treat yourself, girl, treat yourself. Oh, I should also totally eat those cattail stalks. That's a good idea. I need to find food. How about cattails? Mmm. Mmm, so nutritious. Mmm, full of fiber. Okay, we have plenty of antiseptic, which I might just put away. Uh, I mean, having some on hand is always great. But let's face it, I'm, I'm not gonna need that. Same with that lantern fuel. Am I really gonna need another can of lantern fuel? I don't think so, personally. That, that seems silly. And that antiseptic is really heavy. It's like half, half a kilogram or a bottle. It's not needed, definitely not. We should definitely try to open that safe. Hopefully there's something good in there. More bullets. I doubt I'm gonna find a rifle in there. It's way too small to house a rifle. It would be super cool, but mm, it's not happening. Well, that was a great combination. 24, 20, 27 or something. That was fast. Usually it takes me way longer. Ooh, an MRE. And I have a cartridge, a flare. Cool. Okay. So here we're definitely not gonna find a rifle. I already looked. Uh, the best thing I can do is just... Oh wait, is that... That's a snare. Hmm. Small game. Ah, it's not worth it. We can go fishing instead. I have so much stuff. Uh, what I'll do, since I'm not gonna carry around all that firewood, that would be silly. We're going to start off a fire and cook some meat. How about that? Oh, we can use cattail heads as tinder plugs. I did not know that. And I'm gonna use some of my kerosene to start a fire. Because I got more than enough. Yeah, of course that did it. Let's add that and let's have some delicious moldy venison. Okay, one of the biggest problems in quotation marks that I have is that I'm so encumbered because I have all of this useful stuff. This is all super useful I, and I need it. Like the jerry cans, absolutely need it. Uh, that's four liters. I guess I could drop this. This is just three more liters. The carrot, the small bottle, not needed. Let me refuel the lantern first, and then then we'll see. Refuel. Oh, 0.4 liters, and I have I have over nine liters of stuff with me. So let's drop that. And I'm still encumbered like crazy, 36. But screw it. That's it's fine. We'll just have to carry that around. I do wonder though, should I... Nah, I'm not gonna spend time sharpening this yet. So, one of the other few locations where I could find a rifle is... Uh, on our way to the camp office. Camp office itself doesn't have rifles as far as I know. Yes, I'm encumbered and I'm getting tired. I know. It is one of the few locations that does not have a rifle, but on the way there... Oh, I think the wind is stopping. On the way there, we might be lucky and find something near a prepper cache that we're gonna find. Sometimes you can find a rifle near the Lone Lake Cabin. That's one of these other locations that might hold one. Because right now, I'm, I'm not lucky when it comes to finding a gun. Plenty of bullets, plenty of bullets. Very happy about that, but no rifle. Basically, where we wanna head is Deadfall area. It's a little, little spot. We go across the mountain, not down here. This is, this is I think, what is called Max Last Stand. We want to be heading over the mountain here in this way. And that will hopefully bring us there, and that should be fairly close to the prepper cache. Oh, this is a little bit steeper than I thought it would be. Well then, let's just squeeze through here. And that's where Deadfall area is. There's a little burnt down house. We got a visual marker now to guide us. Deadfall area, well hello, hello, hello there. Let's see what you have inside. I'm a bit cold, but nothing I can't handle. Nothing I can't handle. Okay, uh, hatchet, man. A very hatchet, hatchet-heavy game, 
or whatever you would call that. So I think the that uh, the, the, the prepper cache should be somewhere around here. At least that is the hope that I have. It's also a possible bunker location, but I gave up on bunkers whenever I tried to find one. I, I never did. I did find bunkers before, but never when I looked for them. Just when I stumbled across them. That must be Kamar, or so. Mm, I don't feel very confident that there is a cache here somewhere. I'm looking around, but I can't seem to find it. Camp office is not too far away. Could be somewhere over there. Well, at least we get a beautiful scenic view. It's it's those little things. Sadly, I can shoot a deer with a scenic view. I could try, but I don't think it would be very impressed by that. Well, so the next spot I would look for a rifle is actually at the trail, uh, uh, the railment. Sometimes there can be a rifle in one of these carts or wagons. And if not there, there's still the Lone Lake Cabin or Lone Cabin near the lake, whatever you want to call it or whatever it is called. That can also, the guy could have a rifle with him. There's like a frozen guy next to it or so, if I remember correctly. All right, how do we feel? We're drained, we're numb. I might just go to camp office, sleep for two hours and then keep walking and come back. Would also allow me to leave some gear behind so I don't have to like haul all of that all the time. But yeah, sure, let's let's go and run there. Or a slowly jog because running is not possible anymore. I need to find some place to escape this cold. I'm working on it. I know you do. I know you do, but I'm working on it and if you rush me, we're going to we're going to turn this character around and we're going to go home. You want that? No. Figured so. Are all quiet. Oh, and we can maybe farm some cattail stalks there, so I'm going to be very happy. I bet you do. And you will. Not to worry. Ah, oh, it's so bright in here. How nice is this? All right. So, let's go by weight and drop the heaviest stuff. Uh, those boots. Lantern. I'm going to need the hatchet. The bedroll we can drop. I don't know if I need the pry bar, actually. But yeah. So tired. I know. We're going to wake up refreshed. Give me... Granola bar in the meantime. Soup. Ah, oh, it's 60 seconds all over again. All that tomato soup. All that good, delicious tomato soup. Filing cabinets. Hmm, these ones are pretty full with chocolate and matches. Okay, accelerant. Do I really need accelerant considering that I, I'm carrying around like nine lead? Another lantern. You know what? I, I'm not even going to pick it up anymore. Too many lanterns. Antiseptic. Which I'm also going to drop eventually. Do we have a dead guy up here? Yes, we do. Hey, dead guy. Why didn't you, like, stay in the bed? It would be warmer there. And also, I guess, a more comfortable way to die. A bedroll. 54% not too good. I'll leave that. Painkillers. Hello, bar. You know, I'd like to actually open... Oh, one flea sweater. I'd like to open these and just be able to pick out the item. Like, we'll see them laying in there. That'd be nice. All right. We're going to rest for three hours. Bring our condition up. We're going to be a little bit uh, low on water and food. But we get at least a little bit of energy back. And we warmed up. There you go. Nice and warm. Okay, I'm not going to bring any of this along. I'm just going to walk straight to the trail derailment with my... Flare, in the hopes that I'm not getting into trouble. Great, we're gonna walk against the wind. Fantastic. <sighs> Good. Mm, I don't like how drained I am. I'm a bit worried that if I encounter a wolf and I have to run, it's not gonna look good for me. What do you think, Wheatley? What do you think will happen? Will I die? Will this be the end? <gasps> I don't know. I don't know. I don't hope so. I genuinely don't hope so. Well, so far, so good. I don't see any wolves. And I think the corpses or the guys are somewhere over on the right. I want to say. I think there's definitely a guy in one of the train carts. Yes, yes, yes. The realm. And where are the wolves? Okay, I see one over there. One wolf. Ah, damn it. I can't walk this way. I have to walk. Hmm. Oh, I thought I could walk in this one. Nope. Only this one. Okay, please, 
Please. Oh, a pry bar. Please have a rifle. <gasps> a rifle! Yay! Hunting rifle! Hooray! We got one. 24%. I don't care. I'll repair it. I'll take care of it. It'll be something. it'll be my best new thing. I need I, I know I need to drop something, but. Oh, I'm hyped. And a cartridge and a soda. Sneakers. Leave the sneakers. Oh, that's that is fantastic news. Ladies and gentlemen, that is fantastic news. You know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to run back to camp office where I'm probably just going to eat something and sleep for a little bit. I don't think I should use the whole day uh, the rest of the day after I sleep some to get back to what's it called? The Quonset gas station in Mystery Lake and uh, not Mystery Lake Coastal Highway. Have a little sleep right here. No, you're not going to sleep and see what we're still missing then but i think i'm gonna use a full day i'm gonna repair some of my items i'm going to um repair the rifle just to have it in good condition sleep through the night mostly and then start fresh and i think i can make it to the quonset gas station if i have a full day worth of daylight or at least you know like 10 hours and i'm not completely exhausted it's the main reason i don't want to head out because i'm exhausted and i'm going to be carrying around a lot of stuff we're going to be carrying around all those jerry cans Pretty much everything and we're gonna be slow it's gonna be a slow process thanks to the rifle now which i would love to i have 19 bullets i have 19 shots 19 cartridges ah oh, that is great that means that that's fantastic that means we can get some wolf meat as well or the upcoming blizzard honey i'm home very good Okay, no, no, no reason to have this right now on my uh, body. Drink something. Actually, I do need it on my body because I want to repair it. I want to use the rifle repair kit and bring it up to good condition. Gotta, gotta make sure that it doesn't fall apart. All right, repair or just clean, clean that thing. I feel I should unload it first before I clean it. Whenever you clean a gun, make sure to completely unload it. I'm not sure. I Here, it doesn't apparently matter. I'm just gonna clean it. Let's assume that. I take the bullets out, or the cartridges, before I clean it. Yeah, just let me look into that barrel and clean it. That's that's a good idea. Okay, so we're at that 78%. I want to use the remainder of the time to actually do something that requires uh, light. For example, repairing my boots here. Actions, repair. Let's do this. 52 minutes. I bet it's going to be worth it. I do have the other pair of shoes, but I don't feel I need them anymore. I got enough. Uh, same goes with this thing. Ooh! From all that cleaning, I'm now a rifle firearm no novice. I guess that's worth something. So, I'm just gonna eat some cattail stalks. We have some more outside. I'm just gonna eat the stuff that's in a bad condition, I think. That I can eat without feeling any guilt about it. And I'm gonna have some water, and then it's sleepy time, I would say. Or I'm gonna repair the hatchet or something. Anything that I can do. Um, I can't sharpen it with the whetstone, so might as well spend the remainder of the night with that, uh, of the day, and then sleep through the night. Hooray, we have a super sharp hatchet now. And I wonder how many clove items I have that I can rip apart here uh, in this place. I can probably break down the couch or the chair for six cloth. You know what, I'll do that, even though it's dark now. But I do have some cloth now, which I can... I have plenty of cloth now, which I can use to make some bandages. I know you're hungry. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll take care of your, your, your food needs. Ha. Huh. I don't I don't need a uh, lantern. Do I have a lantern? Because I, I was carrying one, but now I don't see any in my inventory. Maybe I dropped it on the floor. Quite possible. It's not that we're lacking lanterns. I think there's another one back there. Do we need one? Yes, it tells us if we need one. We'll see. If I accidentally disassemble it, I'll just take another one. Not a problem. And we're gonna lay down. I'm gonna turn off that lantern. Ah, that layer thing. And I should eat something. What am I gonna eat? Dog food! Healthy, nutritious dog food. The can opener because we have style. We eat dog food in style. Ah, uh, well-deserved sleep. And we did sleep for roughly 10 hours, but at least it's bright out now. I'm super hungry. And 
Not surprised by that. So should we eat something here? Yeah, have have some dog food. And treat yourself to another can of dusty dog food. The only dog food with dirt pieces in it. Well, the only one that advertises that. Enough water to drink. And I think I'm yeah, I'm ready to hit uh hit the road. Uh, I'm gonna grab that bedroll. Very can there's a storm lantern. I was really surprised. Screw the insulated boots, screw that reclaimed wood. Ooh, a soda. I totally missed that. We are carrying 39 out of 30 behind. kilograms. You don't have to leave anything behind. That's the bedroll. I could leave the bedroll behind. It's a kilogram. But what if I get stuck somewhere? I'm gonna need that. I'm not gonna need all of these sewing kits. Screw it, we're doing it with 40 kilograms. Screw it, we're going out. We're, we're taking this way home. Oh, it's windy and cold. Feels like minus 15. Oh, I'm so slow against the wind. Oh, this is good. This is gonna be fun. We'll arrive someday tomorrow. If we're like, God, we're so slow. Yeah, there's... There's no way to deal with this properly. Other than dropping something. Yeah, the rifle definitely does it. Nice and heavy. Okay, if we cover ourselves from the wind, it's only minus seven, and I hope that the wind stops soon. That would be very welcome, indeed. You know what? I don't need the cattail stalks. I got enough stuff. Thank you very much, though. Enjoy your existence. Did I just talk to a cattail stalk? Yes, I did. The, the isolation doesn't help me. It's been eight days since I talked to people. Well, then I also wonder how I first got to Quonset gas station. Why is it so windy? Oh, I think the wind is letting up. I'm walking faster. Nope, I'm just imagining things. By the way, if you guys ever look for a rifle and didn't find anyone at the locations, there is the hut on the left. I'm not going to go there, but you can sometimes find the guy with a rifle there. We got lucky and found one in the trail, the railman, but this would be the other location I would have headed to if we didn't. Jeez, I'm so slow. This is ridiculous. Then again, you try carrying 80 pounds on your back and being fast. Okay, there's two ways to go about this. I could either follow the river up or just go over on the right-hand side. I think I'll go over on the right. I have no idea why. I have no strong preference. The terrain is not much more complicated and the path is still pretty straightforward, but you got the option. This one makes more sense in case you really get stuck in a snowstorm. You can sit it out in a cave. Ooh, what we got there? A ravaged deer carcass. I'm gonna have a quick look if there is enough in there. I mean, what we could do is we could just, you know, carve out the meat, cook it over there, keep going. We've got more than enough stuff to burn around. Let's see. If, it, if it's like Get three kilograms, hands. I might... Also, I'm cold, so fire is actually not a bad idea now I think about it. Just to, you know, relax, unwind a little bit. 0.6 kilograms of meat, that's not a whole lot. I'll go for it anyways. And I'm probably gonna start a fire. You know, we're, we're not in a rush or anything. But I'll just grab a few sticks. I don't have any other burning material, right? No, I do not. So I'm gonna break down those sticks. Oh yeah, I'm starting to freeze. Probably a good idea to head into a cave, just to warm up for a bit. But going here was definitely the right decision. I know, I know, I know, you're... I'm gonna light the torch. Can I, even with that wind? Yeah, it works, good. Maybe we can even start a fire with this, um, easier. Because this is already burning. If I can't start a fire with a flame like this, I'm really incompetent. Like, incredibly incompetent. I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm working on it. I'm working on it, you won't die. I got you covered. Feels like minus five, in the cave it'll feel like zero or so. Yeah, it feels like one. See, we're even warming up in here. All good. Told you. Told you I would take care of you. Hey, campcraft, fire. Do you eat trees? I don't think you can, and also I don't think you should. All right, tinder. We're going to use a tinder plug. And we're going to add some sticks. And I'm even going to add the torch as fuel. I'm going to cook that gamey venison while we warm up a little bit. It's not a whole lot, but it does the trick. 
And I'm gonna heat up some tomato soup, some dusty tomato soup. It's gonna warm us from the inside. It's like a hot chocolate just with tomato instead of chocolate and soup instead of, you know, a cup. It's basically the same. Tomato soup is basically the same as cocoa. Only on the weasel zone, you learn, you learn these important things. Okay, I'm not hungry anymore. This is still hot and open, so I'm gonna eat it. And it's gonna help me warm up. Yeah, that looks good. So this is gonna burn for 15 more minutes. I might as well just sit next to it for 15 more minutes. And just wait for it. I can't add anything to it. Cup of herbal tea. Thank you, Alan, for that cave. I know it's yours, Alan. I really appreciate it. All right, so we're gonna be heading back. We're, we're, we're kind of warm now. We're doing better. It feels like minus nine out here. So we have a little bit of time. We might just warm up in the Carter Hydra Dam, depending on the situation, and just sleep maybe an hour or two just to get that condition up again. I don't wanna be running out of anything. And it, 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 it gets tiring to be running through the wind here. Yeah, I'm tired too, but what can you do? We're in this together now. Okay, so we are at the Carter Hydro Dam, and if we look at our stats, we're pretty drained. We're really, really drained, actually, and we need to make sure that we get some sleep in, because otherwise we'll have a hard time moving. If we're, like, exhausted and try to move the uh, over the ravine, it's not going to be too big of a deal, because there's are, I never see wolves at the ravine, or bears for that matter, so we wouldn't have to try to escape something, but I'd much rather prefer to be... Uh, I'm gonna need to rest soon. Have some rest first and not be completely drained or exhausted. So we'll just sleep inside for a little bit. How about that? I mean, I doubt I'm gonna find Fluffy in here somewhere. I don't think he must have. I mean, he, he must just not be here in this version. Uh, so let's go ahead and sleep here on the floor for, uh, I'm gonna say, four hours. That's plenty of time to gain some energy back. Looks good, and then we should be able to just go over the ravine without many problems. All right, parched and ravenous. Uh, have some water. Not that we have too much, and the rest, eh, whatevs. We'll be fine. Pick that up, and we're gonna leave the upper dam and make our way across the ravine. Why would you eat a horse? I know you could. You feel like you could. You feel like you could eat a horse, but you could not eat a horse. You would probably be full after eating like a, few, a little bit of the horse. You'd be like, oh, I can't eat anymore. And like, oh, where's your big mouth now? And if your mouth is not as big as your stomach, when your eyes are bigger than your stomach. Oh, great. It's a wolf. You know what, wolf? No. I have a flare. Get the frick away from me. Screw you. Go away. Yeah, you want to go, bro? You want to go? Go away. There you go. Wow, I'm angry. I'm really angry. Well, that's one way to deal with them. Okay, so we are Draven Falls Railway Line. That is going to bring us to the ravine. And I'm currently thinking, I must have left at least 15 kilograms of equipment at the trailer hut, remember? Not too long ago when we made it our way. Uh, when we made our way to Mystery Lake, we left some behind and I said, like, yeah, I'm gonna pick that up later. I did not realize how encumbered I would be when I would be heading back, so chances are we might have to go two times, or I'm gonna really slowly crouch back. I don't think that would be a good idea, though. All right, I'm drained again, fantastic. Or I'm just gonna carry everything and have like an emergency stim and just <laughs> make myself run. That sounds actually really funny. Maybe I'll try that if I'm crazy enough. Ah, friend, we meet again. We meet once again. I miss you, you know. You shouldn't say things like, my stomach feels like an empty pit as you're looking at a frozen corpse. That makes you just seem really weird. Mmm, I could eat this. No, you couldn't. It's, it's a human being. You do not want to eat it. It's not that bad. Especially since you have an MRE in your bag. Yeah, I'm really drained. I am going to faint soon. That would be really hard if that was a thing. Because I'm intentionally starving and draining myself of energy and I'm just constantly in a bad state 
But I'll just keep doing it. Because there's not that many ramifications to it. Cool. I'm super exhausted and super slow. How many emergency stims do I have? Just out of curiosity. I have two. Okay, I, I don't want to use them. I really don't. Oh, my flare went out. Bummer. Well, I don't think we're going to encounter any wolves. Uh, but I'll definitely drop that. I do not... Oh, drop it. Don't carry that around. There's no need. We can't make a new one with it. But I'll equip one just in case. Just in case we're going to encounter another wolf. I think that... That is not supposed to be like this. This looks like it's floating. Yep. There is a branch floating in midair. That seems to be a thing in this version. That there's some stuff that just floats around randomly. Very odd. I mean, it's not connected to anything. At least it doesn't look like it. That's a very peculiar looking boulder. I don't know what that is about. It doesn't look natural, does it now? Hmm. I don't know what that is. Alright, we have three hours of daylight left, so I'm probably going to sleep in the hut. And you know what? Let's let's have some fun with this. Let's let's see how this goes. I'm gonna equip an urgent emergency stim. Let's go! Well, eh, not bad. I can run fairly fast. I will be so tired once that thing wears off. But at least I can make some headway. I can actually get ahead a little bit. I wonder if it lasts less if you run on it. Because it doesn't seem to be lasting very long. Yeah, this seems safe. Very safe. Running on drugs on a bridge. So safe. Ah, uh, the creaking. Don't creak. Stop it. Okay, this is moment of truth. Sideways. And nailed it. Drugs don't solve problems, but in this case, I'm going to say they solve the problem. The problem of me having to, like, crouch along everything with the way over-encumbered character I have. All right. All right, the stim pack is over. I'm exhausted now. <laughs> I was exhausted before. Oh, you don't have to think. I'll, I'll do the thinking for you. How about that? I'll do the thinking for you. We just have to make it to that little hut, and then we can sleep. And then uh, I'll, I'll have to figure out how I'm going to carry all of that stuff I have home, because that's way too much. Oh, the beautiful magic of editing. Ah, uh, this is taking so long to get anywhere. When you're hauling around that much stuff. You don't have to sit through it. Isn't that fantastic? Thumbs up for that. Also, if you watched that long, you should definitely leave a like. Definitely. I mean, it's been a while. It's, 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 it's been... This has been quite a long video, hasn't it? Quite a long video. Alright, we are back in the trailer hut. Where we're going to go through all that, that equipment. Right, we had another jerry can tools. Yeah, I know, this is all slowing you down, but I'm carrying it all around. Alright, that is how fast we, fast we are. Absolutely not. Okay. So, jerry cans. We have quite a few. We need five liters, so I can drop this four kilogram jerry can right there. The bedroll can drop it. Don't need it. Simple tools. I think I have some back at home, uh, back at the Quonset gas station. I'm not going to need flares. I will bring two flares, but the rest I will drop for now. I might come back for them later if I have to. But for now, it's just about how much I can actually bring in one go. The books, nobody needs those books right now. Tinder plugs, I'll be good on those as well. Sticks? Yeah, I don't need to bring sticks. Other than that, in terms of weight, one of the heaviest things we're calling around is the worn winter coat. Why did I bring that? Right, cloth. Okay, the worn heavy wool sweater. I also dropped that. 37, that is less than before, after combining my everything. Uh, antiseptic, I can drop another one here. Don't need to carry that around right away. Water purification tablets, I don't think we're going to need those, but they're also not very heavy. I mean, it all makes a difference eventually. On that, look at all these teas we have. Right. Okay, we're thirsty and we're hungry. So, sodas it is. And I think I'll enjoy. This is all in good condition. It's not really worth. I don't want to eat that yet. I'm hungry, but you know what? I'm exhausted. I'm going to be drink. I'll drink a cup of herbal tea. Gives me 100 calories. That's 
at least something, and we're gonna rest. 12 hours. We might take a little bit of a condition hit, but we shouldn't starve in that time. All right, thirsty and hungry. Well, how about some tomato soup? You would eat some tomato soup. Well, and for the most time, I'm gonna pass a few more hours of time. All right, it's daylight. It's time to go out. I'm not gonna wait around any longer. We're fast enough. I mean, we're not Speedy Gonzales fast. Oh, it's it's foggy. Ah, well, it is Daredevil's companion. It is foggy. That's okay, though. We just have to make it down the path. I do have two flares, which should keep me safe from the wolves. I will kick some butt if any wolf wants some. Anyone wants to fight. I don't have to follow the path. I can go straight down. Slowly, that is. I don't want to break a leg or so. That would be quite the bummer, wouldn't it? But yeah, if a wolf wants to go at it, I got a flare ready. And I will shove it his furry little nose hole. Zzz, nose holes. That's what I'm talking about. Nothing else. Yeah, let's just run down the hill while it's all foggy. I bet nothing could possibly go wrong. Uh, to the left or to the right? Eh, let's go to the left. Okay, I'm thirsty. I don't have a whole lot of water with me. Doesn't matter. <laughs> 40 milliliters. That's That doesn't take that long to drink. Then you just chug it real quick. Like a gulp. A gulp of water. Oh, is that the road? Ah, oh, that is the road. Ah, oh, I've been so eagerly looking forward to seeing that road again. Oh, fantastic. This makes me very, very happy. Because now I have a very easy time navigating. I just have to, yeah, follow that thing until we get to the Quonset gas station. Hopefully not encountering any wolves or such, but yeah, that should still take us a few minutes to get there. Or only a few seconds, thanks to the magic of editing. We're close to the Quonset gas station again, where I'm gonna drop off all of that gear, and then we're gonna take inventory. I'm really curious to what I'm still missing. It's probably gonna be mostly food and water, which should not be so hard to uh, get now that I have a rifle with 19 shots. Uh, we're, we're gonna be, have to be... Very careful about not using it all up. But then the question is, do we have to sit out the other 20 days? I guess there's only one way to find it out. Okay. So far so good, I see a wolf back there, but I don't think he's gonna bug me when I try to go there. Cold. Oh, at risk for hypothermia, that hasn't happened for a while. I guess our clothes have deteriorated so much that I'm getting so cold now. It feels like minus 11, why is it so cold? I thought I was wearing cool stuff. I guess it's not in a good shape anymore. Oh well. We'll repair it. We're gonna take care of ourselves. No, don't close your eyes. Okay, I hear a wolf. Okay, there he is. There he is, he's angry. He's slobbering, he's foaming. He wants to eat me. No good. But we're in, so yes, we made it back. Now, let's drop all the stuff we have on the floor and see where we stand. All right, a quick look uh, shows us that we do have, uh, why is the rifle not listed? Oh yeah, right, the rifle we probably have to drop on the ground. So I will just do that. Um, I should also unload that thing. Uh, actions, first we're gonna unload the rifle, perfect. And where are the bullets? The bullets should be in here. And we're gonna drop 10 bullets on the ground, or cartridges. Rifle ammunition, fine. And that thing. Cool, now we have rifle. Next, we need a hatchet. Ah, oh, guess what I have? I do have a hatchet. Also, they want a lantern. I also do have that. Oops, I didn't want it. I wanted to drop it. Good. Oh, this is looking good. All right, we need, wow, quite a lot. We need 14 more reclaimed wood, more food, and more water. Okay, first things first, reclaimed wood. What do we need for that? A hatchet, and we need 14, I think, right? It said 14. Uh, we're gonna need 24 reclaimed wood, so we're gonna be chopping quite a bit. But before we do that, we're gonna enjoy some food. Um, first, that's gonna be, I think, a beef jerky. We're gonna eat that and drink some water or do anything else. And I might actually kill a wolf now. Uh, let's drink that liter of water. And right now, I don't even see a reason to go back to the hut, uh, the trailer. I can still go there and pick up the rest if I needed to. But for now, I'm pretty happy with the situation. Right now, I'm just gonna look for... Oh, I, I'm an idiot. And I dropped the tea. Who's gonna drink that? The wolf? The wolf's not gonna drink that tea. 
I should bring a rifle and obviously a hatchet if I plan to uh, hunt down a... You know what? Maybe we shouldn't hunt them down first. I mean... Oh, ah, crap. Uh, maybe we should... Maybe we should get wood first. Just the reclaimed wood should be easier. We're just going to go to the house next door. We can be a little bit hungry or drained for that if we get a condition hit. That's totally fine. But yeah, it's a good idea to have the rifle. Let's reload all the nine cartridges extra that we have. Let's keep them in. Okay, someone's running. That is totally fine, by the way. Come here. Let me shoot you. Perfect. So now we don't need to uh, harvest him right away. We could, though. We could harvest him. It's going to take an hour. Sure, let's well, let's do it. I'm going to be cold. I'm going to take a huge condition hit. And I'm on risk for hypothermia. But at least we got some... Uh, we got some meat now. Which I will gladly... Right here. Yeah, I know. Wake up again. We're going to drop that and we're going to get some sleep. It's going to deteriorate a little bit. But that's... that's I'm willing to take that risk. We have a barrel so we can cook it once we wake up. We still have nine hours of daylight left. So... What I should probably do is I should eat something. Cold is making my head feel thick. And then sleep for four hours. Or five. I'm having some moldy peanut butter. 16%. Ah, food poisoning. Yeah, food poisoning. I made a mistake. 16% is really bad. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna die. Mm, well, you're not. You're not. Don't worry. Uh, you're going to take some antibiotics. Please, two of those. Where are they? No. Oh. Uh, let's treat the wounds. Then while we're at it, we're going to drink a herbal tea. That's going to help us out a little bit as well. And now it's time for some sleep to bring us up because we are so exhausted. It needs 10 hours to for us to feel better, but I'm going to sleep for five see how that goes and we decide how to act from that point forward right of course we're still afflicted that won't stop anytime soon how much wood do we have 21 so if i get one firewood and start a fire it'll be fine fire barrel is here i'm gonna use some accelerant Damn what it. that that failed fine let's let's use some kerosene i'm not waiting this out and more than enough stuff Okay, it's gonna burn for one and a half hours, which is more than enough for us to cook that meat. Oh, my condition is going down. Mm. The food poisoning requires rest, otherwise it just keeps going down. Cooking does not consider is not considered a rest, I guess. Uh, three more minutes. You know what? Uh, I'll throw a stick in. Ten minutes, is that enough? Eh, it might not be. Let's add another stick. Just to be on the safe side. And let's cook that a little bit. Yep, it was not enough, and we still have raw wolf meat. You know what? I'll eat it. Screw it. I'll eat it. Yeah, can't stop me. I already have food poisoning. Suck it. Okay, I'm gonna have another herbal tea. And I know we have plenty of daylight left, but I, I think I need... How many more hours? I'm gonna need five more hours, so I guess I'm gonna just rest ten more hours. It'll be fine. Ugh, that creaking. And we're at 100%. Hooray. A little, little thirsty. Some, nothing we cannot deal with. Or that is something we can deal with. Have a quick look. Uh, did I use up my kerosene? No, we still have plenty of that. So I'm going to grab a water bottle. Actually, I'm going to grab two because I'm going to need them. And we're just going to go over to the other houses, breaking down any kind of, like, wood that we can find. Uh... Flares. Flares are probably a good idea to go through the darkness right now. Let's see how dark it actually is. Um, it is friggin' dark. I will say that. And it is friggin' cold. But if I run over there, I'll be fine, right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, house number one. We're gonna start breaking down stuff. Of course I didn't bring a lantern. That only would have made sense. But yeah, let's go ahead and break down this table. Eight reclaimed wood. And we're going to break down the chairs as well while we're at it. Oh, turns out it's light again. Hooray, we've been working so long. It is light out again. Okay, what else can I break down? This table for three wood. Oh, 
This pillow is just deciding to float in midair. I will not tell it not to, but it really looks weird. Since they're probably going to be cooking more, I might as well go to another house and ransack whatever I can. Give me those sticks while I'm at it. Thank you, they all respawned. Incredibly convenient. And let's keep breaking down other people's property. Well, that's fun. It's for survival, bro. Cool. I think we got enough reclaimed wood. Since we're going to have to cook a lot of water. Might as well break more down. Oop, I'm parched. Could drink something. Might as well break down a branch outside. Too much stuff to carry. You say that, but still you're walking, so it's it's not too much. You say it's too much, but since you're still walking, you're still capable of carrying it, so I'm not gonna take easy on you there. Okay. Get a little stuff. Let's get some more from these. Okay. No wolves. Oh, wait. Never mind, there's a wolf. Go away. I have a, I have a flare. Also, I will gladly shoot you. I should have shot you. Why didn't I shoot you? You know what? That's that's not a problem. I can still do that. Wait, are you bleeding? Oh, that's no, that's just the red light. All right. You know, I would love to shoot you, but I doubt that's going to be worth it. Actually. Oh shit. Reload. Stay here. Stay here. I want to kill you. <sighs> Ax too fast. Doesn't matter. Don't need to do that right now. We got enough food as it is. All right. Time to drop some reclaimed wood. And we have enough reclaimed wood. Actually, six more than we need to. And we need to make like 15 or 20 liters of water or something. Whatever I can make happen here. Um, accelerant. I'm going to grab that jerry can. Because the jerry can can. And we're going to start a fire. Hooray! I'm gonna add all of that firewood, all that reclaimed wood. And why not? Let's add all of the sticks. And we're gonna make so much water. It's gonna be crazy. The irony is not passing me that I'm gonna be really dehydrated while I'll do this because I'm, you know, I always do so much that I'm gonna be thirsty and then dehydrated while boiling water. But that's okay. It does feel like 53, so maybe I should back up a little bit. So it's not too hot. Oh, you, you'll be fine. You don't have to move with the water. Every normal human being would have put it on the ground at this point, but not you. No, not you. Okay, maybe I have too much. Maybe I made a little bit too much uh, uh, water. Let's have a quick look. How many sticks we have. So I can grab six reclaimed wood. All right, we're still meeting the quota. Let's start boiling it. Oh, you need a drink. No problem. Let me give you some of that freshly boiled water. That you so much crave. 50 more liters. Ah, we got enough time to boil all of this. Okay, so we spent the last... Oh, man, I'm so slow. <laughs> but I'm still moving. I am still moving. How much am I carrying? Oh, 45. That's not too bad. But I'm so tired that I can only carry 15 kilograms. So roughly three times the amount of stuff I should be carrying. Anyway, let's drop the water. That'll help. And we have enough water. Fantastic. We need a little bit more food. Pulling that food thing off shouldn't be too hard. Give me a match, I got plenty. Um, shouldn't be too hard. We have so much stockpiled. I don't feel this is safe, by the way. Just having a fire in here. I mean, then again, the window's broke. No, it's not broken. We would die from CO2, uh, 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 oxygen suit. Uh, um. <laughs> we would die. We would definitely die. Having a fire inside a closed building is not a good idea. Maybe there's a vent somewhere, who knows. Five hours of darkness left. We're gonna rest for six. Bring our condition up a bit, and then we're gonna go hunting. Hooray! I think we need at least two wolves or one huge deer. Let's go deer hunting, shall we? We have three more bullets. Let's see if we can get away with one single shot. That would be cool. Oh, I hear wolf. And it's running away scared. There's a bear over there, which I don't really care for. All right. No bears following me. Ah, no wolf is following me. Let's see if I can spot a deer somewhere. Hmm. Not looking good. I do not see deer here. Oh. Got plenty of wolves. Okay. Oh, good. That's, uh... Great. Great, 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 great. We're bleeding. Yeah, you keep running, and I'll follow you, because... Wait, first we should... 
Oh, sprained wrist. Okay, I can I can handle a sprained wrist. Oh, I dropped the T. Uh, let's get that. So, since we injured him with our knife... Wait, oh, I dropped the rifle. Pick up the rifle, weasel. You're gonna need that. I thought I dropped that. Where is it? Where is it? Where's my rifle? Oh, you son of a schnitzel. I have it. How did I not equip it when I pressed the button? For a second, I thought it clipped for the ground or something stupid like that. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. You know why I can't? Because I have a sprained wrist. All right, fucker. Go away. Anyway, let's follow the blood trail. I think he's the guy who's bleeding. At least I... Great, another one. Okay. How, how about how about I go inside? This is not going in my... This is not going well for me right now, is it? Okay, blood loss. Uh, I know, I'm bleeding. I'll stay out of your hair. This didn't go well. I regret my decision. I regret my decision. He's about to keel over, isn't he? You're about to keel over, buddy. I think. Oh, uh, maybe not. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're going inside. I'm going inside. I, I, I'm so done. That did not go well at all. All right. Blood loss. Time to get some... Yeah, no problem. Here. Bandage. And some antiseptic. Let's treat the wounds. Yeah, and we also probably lost a lot of our clothing. Man, wolves are hard to kill. Way harder than you would think. I right, treat that wound. Okay, infection risk is down. We're gonna need some painkillers. Sprained ankle, sprained wrist. We're not the happiest of campers. But I'm going out there, and I'm going to fight them again. Go away. Go away. I'm really hoping to find someone who's bleeding. I think he is bleeding, isn't he? Ah, he's, 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 he's walking really slowly. I think he's injured. Go away. Go away. Stop dropping herbal teas, will you? Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Good, good times. Good times. I think I killed a wolf, but I'm also down to 22%. I think, yeah, I killed that wolf. Good, good, good. You know what? I got attacked by three wolves. I'm still alive. I'm not gonna let this fall through just because I'm too greedy. I don't know if in the end it didn't matter, but you're not gonna die, so... Calm, calm your tits here. Have something to drink. Sleep a bit. Sleep it off. Have an herbal tea. And then we talk about it again, okay? Right now, you're way too... Skittish. Relax. Just, you know. 12 hours of daylight left. Sleep sleep for, I don't know, 8. Sleep for 8. See, condition goes up, we'll be fine. And we still have some daylight left, we can harvest the wolf. Um, I guess we still have to cook the meat before we before it's considered being stored. Okay, we're out again. We're only at 60%. Uh, I should probably drop this burnt out flare. Um, there's two wolves. Cool. Alright. None of you guys are around. I'm gonna harvest three kilograms of meat from you. How are my clothes doing, by the way? Ah, uh, they got shredded up a bit, but they actually surprisingly well, in a surprisingly good condition. Okay, there's another wolf. Let's hope he doesn't see me. I drop. Okay, he sees me. Cool. And I do not have. Do I have my rifle? Yes, I. There you go. Wouldn't be that hard. 3.5 nice warm kilograms of meat. If I have to eat wolf, I'll eat wolf. Okay, can't reload that rifle right now. Give me that guy. Just a little bit frozen. I'm happy that they stayed around, around to die and not wandered off into the woods or so. Otherwise, I would have I had to follow them. But it's time to start the fire. To start fire, we need wood. So let's see if I can find a big branch that I can break down. Otherwise, I'll just get some... Um, here, that's a big branch. Ah, I just can get some sticks from it. That's okay, too. I'm just looking for one of the huge... Ah, like this. The huge cedar limb. So I'm not looking for a branch. I'm looking for a limb. Okay, that should be enough to cook all the meat that I have. Well, it's kind of full with a lot of meat. We just slaughtered a whole bunch of wolves. Yeah, you're frozen. I don't care. I do have some accelerants here. I don't know where I stored them. Uh, finding anything here is... Ah, uh, it's bad. 
Man, where did I start that? Okay, that's kerosene. I just want to use the accelerants because I can't. They, they, they don't consider it, uh, kerosene, but they start a fire up real nice. So here you go. Tinder, we're going to use a tinder plug. And let's cook ourselves some wolf meat. And hope that's enough to fill the requirement. One of the new additions I really like is the higher your cooking skill is, the faster you cook. Same goes with cleaning your rifle. The more Where you do I it, the faster you do it. Uh, we're cooking it right now. As we're as you speak, you're cooking wolf meat. That's where you find it. But I'm not giving you anything. First the work, then the reward. Oh, great. The fire went out while I was cooking and I still have raw meat. Ah, oh, good job, Weasel. Good mythical job. The worst part about this is this only is considered two days worth of food. All of this wolf meat is like two days of food. Okay, I'm not going to cook that yet. Um, I'm just going to let it lay on the floor for a bit. We're going to sleep through the night. Uh, probably going to take a drink an herbal tea. I deserve an herbal tea here. And we're going to rest as long as we possibly can. I think I'm going to go fishing. Or I'm going to try to kill a deer because there's way more meat on it than on a wolf. But they're harder to find. They don't run towards you or something. Like wolves do. Wolves are very confrontational, I would say. Yeah, we still got some time to kill. Okay, I'm going to leave the gas station. Even though it's nighttime because I want to make some... I'm uh, going to hit some distance. Oh, it's windy. It is very windy. Um, the wolf carcasses are still laying around. I don't see any fresh wolves here, which is great. But yeah, I'm trying to make some... Well, where's a fishing hut? Straight ahead there, we got a fishing hut. I would love that. I love a fishing hut. We can use the hatchet to break open the ice and then just keep fishing until we have enough food. At least that's my plan. Not the best, but it is mine. So I don't want to be heading out to a whole different region trying to find the food there. If I can, you know, just harvest it myself. Yes, you did survive another one night. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, right. It's probably cold here. Feels like minus four. I should have considered that uh, and brought something to make a fire instead of freezing to death. Cool. Uh, we're going to break open the ice with this in the hopes that we're not instantly freezing. But, yeah, it's going to be cold gonna be very very cold probably gonna take ah uh, hypothermia is gonna it's gonna kill us if we're not careful okay I, let's face it i'm gonna need some fire i need something to keep me warm in there so i'm gonna need anything that burns for that matter i could break some stuff down in the hut i guess get some reclaimed wood i don't see a bear right now unless it's sleeping in there but it doesn't seem like it nope not sleeping in there good Bear's gone. Bear's hunting. I don't care what Bear's doing as long as Bear's not here. Cool, it's a wolf. Um, I do not have a flare. But I got the wolf. Hey, that's, that's something. 3.6 kilograms of meat. I'll have those. Thank you. It's cold, yes. It is very cold. So we're going to warm up inside before we get hypothermia. I would hate that. That'd be, that'd be quite the bummer. My fingers feel numb. Yes, I know their fingers are numb. Then we will warm them up. Food. Well, how about you break down the table and then we'll see about some food. Yes, I know you're starving. I have the wolf meat, which I can cook soonish. Soonish, while we go fishing as well. So we're going to be heading back. Feels like minus 15. Cool. Uh, we'll be heading back. Just running down the hill to... Where is it? There is the fishing hut. That's where we want to go. Luckily, no bears, no wolves. They all seem to be gone. Yeah, they don't want to mess with me. They know I'm no fun. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a nice fire. 55% chance. That's not good. 60%. Well, maybe we're getting lucky. 60%. Let's do this. I mean, we need a fire. There's just no way around that, otherwise we'll freeze to death. If we try to fish here now. Come on, 60%. Papa needs a new fire. Papa needs to cook. Don't fail me now. This is looking good. Looking very good. Yes, it's burning. Turned good. Pretty well. Yes, I'm pretty happy about that. I might say so. Let's start cooking. And let's make an herbal tea. Because we're probably going to have a low condition once we're done fishing. 
what I'll do is I will eat one whole uh, slab of meat, bring something, and then we're going to start fishing in the hopes that we get more food for fishing. It right, feels like 17 thanks to that fire. Let's break that ice open again. Should be fast since it was open not too long ago. And yeah, sure, let's fish for eight hours and see how that goes. I will gladly cancel if I need to, but as you see, Never I think we're warm so enough. In my life. Nice, rainbow trout. Uh, Koholo salmon. Wow, five kilograms. I'm a lucky son of a bitch. Too and heavy. another fish. I know. Rainbow trout. Okay, we're getting plenty of food. It takes us a while, but I bet it's worth it. And another rainbow trout. Cool. A salmon. And I think I'm good Start in terms of fish. Down. Yeah, how much am I carrying? Ooh, plenty of stuff. Plenty of stuff. You know what time it is? Emergency stim time. Oh. Doesn't help me because I'm still... <laughs> I'm still too tired. Okay, well, whatever. I don't, I don't care if it was a mistake. We get to enjoy the beautiful scenery. This is probably my favorite time of day when it's like nice and orange everywhere. Oh, don't drop the fish. I mean, I could drop the fish for any wolf that comes for us. Which I'm also going to equip while I'm at it. Let, let us equip that. Okay, we can still hold it steady. Wolf is far enough away. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so encumbered. At 43 that I can't even consider running. Ah, uh, so slow. So slow. Thought we nearly made it. Hold on. Just those remaining few feet. Okay, no wolf? Good. Good. Because I'm not in the mood for more wolves right now. I really am not. And in we go. Now it's time to cook more and more. Um, what kind of wood we have? Actually, we're a little low on wood. So I might have to go out soon and get some more. I guess I'm just gonna cook with reclaimed wood. Because we can always get that from another house real quick. Oh, and accelerant, please. Or kerosene for all I care. Kerosene will do fine too. There you go. That's a fire. Uh, all right, let's add all the reclaimed wood. Um, I might not have a whole lot to cook. A lot of just fish. Go oh, salmon. Let's see how long that takes. I think fish doesn't take that long. At least I want to. I want to say that. That would be very convenient right now. Let's put that stuff on the ground and see where we stand. Okay, with all of that food, we barely have enough days of food. We need a little bit more reclaimed wood, which I am going to get once I wake up. One of the things that I'm worried about is that the days of food are going to go down once it starts spoiling. But for now, I just have to get some reclaimed wood from another house to finish this up. I know you're weak. I know you're weak. But don't worry. We're just going to go for one of the other houses nearby, loot them or they would. Let's just run through here. I know it's dark, but I know where I'm going. There you go. Let's break down a table or so. Just a table is going to be enough. That's so dark. There you go. Just break down a table for five wood. That'll do fine. I think that should do fine. Let's see. I need a little bit more, actually. Something else that's just made out of wood. Uh, there's another table. Sure. And we're out of here. Doesn't seem I'm encumbered, so... Gas station, here we come. You stay down, dead wolf. You stay down. Drop all of that wood. Drop the rifle, drop the kerosene. And the hatchet. And success! We got all the items. Ah! We got a challenge success, finally! It's been many, many hours of game time. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we still have to, I think, 18 days time or 17 and a half days time until the blizzard hits, I guess. So it's th not the trickiest. It was a lot of work to get to this point, but I think I would be able to survive. No problem. Just, you know, kill a few more wolves or find some more food items. But we did it. I got the whiteout challenge. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. A lot of effort went in, into this. Share it with your friends if they, you think that they enjoyed the long dark uh, or have problems with the whiteout challenge. In any case, thanks again so much for watching. Weasel, I'm out and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.